<laughs> I'm sorry, are you shitting on the toilet? No, that was just my attempt at making a Chewbacca noise. <laughs> it's working. It's working. Because I've got some. I am not pooping. <laughs> are you Great. sure? I am definitely I am, still on I am absolutely sure. <laughs> I'm sitting here just eating a bag of Teddy Grahams. <laughs> oh, okay. it. As soon as I cereal. start, people start blowing up my Discord. <laughs> Dude, cut that shit down. I'll send you memes. Don't make me. Find yeah, put it in mode. Yeah, put it in streamer mode. This is uh, I this I learned in... from Prasisi. I put it in D and D. Well, I learned it because that, it automatically that's also does fair. it when I start OBS. So. Oh. Yeah, it's cool that it does that. Okay, so let's Still get this show bad. on the road. Let's I do a quick recap on what happened last session, because there wasn't much. Yes. Shopping and crafting. Shopping power and washing. Crafting. Power we noodled around a bit. Yeah, I l remember Lucy and Power washed a bunch of buildings. Books. We learned about yes. past false hydras in Keo and Kota. And we learned about a thing called the Cult of Dragons, and they were trying to make a Draco Lich, which sounds horrific. And then Morgan found some stuff on how to kill dragons that are Draco Liches, potentially? I don't know. And then there was a new job. Um, oh, oh and your beard put floor. Nightfall Commander on his door. But put intriguing and I, underneath. And then I brought up the maybe we should decorate our doors thing, but we didn't really actually do that. Hmm. Oh, I didn't remember you did that. Yeah, because in the beginning you said that all the doors were decorated, and I was going to be like, oh, I'm going to decorate my door, but I never actually did it, so. Well, when you have free time, you can choose to do so. We took it a is... job. Oh, sorry, go ahead. You took a job. Go to the sunken and... forge. Work. You guys said there was a couple work. things. You we, uh... said there were a couple things you wanted to do before you left. Yes. Uh uh. I want to go find treat real quick. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna ask him if he knows of any gods of protection or shielding or something that'll keep me from dying. Uh, so you go over to Treat's classroom. When you head in, he is what looks like he's training three different clerics. Uh, or rather, he's training one and the other two are beating each other up. <laughs> um, so when he has a moment, you catch him. Uh, what exactly do you ask? If he knows of like any gods of protection... Like, maybe I, I can go pray. I'm not a holy man, but it would make me feel better before going off on this next mission. Uh, there's a few to choose from. Um, let me roll a thing here. What sort of, um, how, uh, well, I guess there's no other way to ask this. How lawful are you talking? I mean, I would imagine someone who's good. I want them, I, I follow the law and I try to be a good person, so I imagine something around in there would be my wheelhouse. Well, there's Helm, the god of protection. There's Olmar, one of the newer gods of protection and valor. <laughs> There's Ilmater, of protection and endurance. There's... Um... Hmm. You see him, like, kind of tapping his chin as he's thinking. That's all that comes to mind at the moment. Um... What did you... You just want, like, a... A relic of theirs? Like a keepsake? I mean... Yeah, that would work. It's just more of... 
with what happened last time, I'm a little a, a little nervous. That's understandable. Um, okay. And you see him head over to his altar. And there's a lot of religious symbols here. A lot. There's more than 20. And he's like going over them. And you see him kind of shuffling in like a drawer that's in the middle of the altar. And eventually he pulls out a few uh, stranded symbols. And he kind of pull, holds them out to you. Um, well, uh, take your pick. So, would you take of the ones he's holding out are Omar, Torm, Ilmater, and uh, Cord? Which one of those would you take? I'll probably go with Omar. <laughs> okay. Just for the sake of his, sh his symbol was a, a blazon shield. Yes. Okay. You now have a holy symbol of Omar. Add that into my character sheet. Yeah. Uh, after that, I'm just going to go buy the, what was it, a month's worth of rations that we should have got. For the, Is uh, a holy symbol of Omar like a, a, like a shield? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, uh, I'm just going to go grab a, what will call it, uh, Oh, I can't think. Uh, the the rations that we're going to need for the, the journey. Okay. How many uh, rations are you purchasing? Uh, we have seven people in our party, so enough rations for a month for seven people. Yes. Okay. Are you buying the standard fare, or are you going to get the nicer stuff? I'm going to get the nicer stuff. Oh. Okay. All right. That is 210 individual rations. That's, That's going to be about 28 gold pieces. Alright. That's a lot of food. Yes, all it right. is. And I'm putting them all in the haversack. High class hard so, How many pieces Wait, did you say that was our... again? Ugh. 210. Yeah, he bought me food. Oh, good. Not, yeah, he bought, the, he bought the good stuff. It's like Yay. these sheaves of... Uh, Almost like husk wrapped foods of dried meats and cheeses and breads, and they're. It smells pretty good for what it is. It's still road ration, but it's better than packs. crispy biscuit. Oh. At least it's not roadkill rations. Hey, you got that good shit, man? <laughs> and you said twenty five gold. Yes, I said twenty eight gold. Oh. Trying to get pull fast one on me, are you? I see how you go. No, just memory of a goldfish. <laughs> All right, so what? Yeah. He called himself a memory of a goldfish. I, I have no, I, I said Pumat because... Oh. That wasn't Pumat. Close. I can't mm. do Pumat. I've tried. I can't do him. Definitely yeah, sounded like but, Pumat. But, but you, you've gotten close, actually. All right, time. So I've got all of the arrowheads, the material for arrows and bolts... Extra clothing for the party. Uh, card deck, because apparently we needed that. And now we have the rations. And I'm going to grab two yeah, we more had a minor list. healing potions. That's right, where's my list? Hang on. Two more healing potions? Two more minor healing potions. Hundy gold. You guys have a quartermaster of your own here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Quartermaster the, Thormir? The haversack yes. is beginning to look full. Yeah. As it's Ooh, just boy. rations. Yeah. <laughs> Filling up most of And we should Jesus have... Christ. We should have five at this point. Oh, this, this Minor is healing potions total. Yes. And I think I you believe... distributed them last time? I, yeah, I distributed them. I kept one, but I gave the rest out to replace what was already uh, used in the last fight. Okay. Alright, so I currently have three minor healing pots. And we'll hand those out as needed. So it is you, you retrieved your job and completed these tasks in the morning of the fourth day. Right. Are you going to head out 
Uh, okay. Are you doing that tomorrow? Are you going to diddle dally some more? <laughs> oh, oh we've God. Been, okay. We've been diddly dallying for like. Friggin'. Well, Earth. you know, as DM, you could just say, all right, you guys are all set. Time to head out. <laughs> I could. But it's your life. Well, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm ready, I guess. I am also ready. I will I get ready. Okay, people. what's the in game date? The last session ended on the 24th. Is this the same day? Yes, yeah, same day. Okay. Because that, you took the job on the morning of that day, and this is that okay. day. Okay. I'll just say it's 2 p.m. So we... Yep. Um, Ali right. is so ready. She's sitting there, like, scouring, like, gone over all of her stuff. She doesn't actually have that much stuff. I feel I'll like sit with Ollie. I feel like Ollie and Kith are the kind of like people like they get on the bus as kids and they're literally just vibrating in the seat waiting for their first day of school. And that is not entirely an accurate about Ollie. I can't deny Ollie. that. Yeah. <laughs> you say that, but that is me like always. I know that. I I understand that. Do you think we could get the front seat on the wagon this time? <laughs> Okay. What if we rode on Pop? Oh, that'd be fun. How did I know you were going to say that? Just don't let me fall <laughs> off. Because you would have said the exact same thing. Yes, yes I would have. Okay, so you guys are going to make your way down to the stables to yes. collect your caravan. And again, you head in and Party. the same enormous mutton chops old guy Yay. He's kind of leaning against the front of the, the stable house, and he looks up as you're approaching, and he says, mm, Ready to go, then? But they're all accounted for, so yes. Are ready we, to go! Do a head count? I'll do a head count. Okay, you do oh, a head shit. count, kiss. Ah, my yarn! <laughs> Your yarn? I'm, I'm you rolling yarn. <laughs> Are you playing with a ball of yarn? It just fell and unraveled. <laughs> Alright, I'm fine. Carry on. Sorry. You said Sorry. to do a head count. I, 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 totally, I totally thought that that was a thing that was happening in character. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like sitting here rolling up yarn while we play. Because <laughs> I, yeah. I think it would be I'm way sorry. better if Kith was messing with yarn. That's fine. Then... Kith could be working on some crocheting too. Totally. Amazing. <laughs> She's. That's fine. That's what she's doing. She's rolling up yarn. Okay. So, <laughs> you guys have met your driver, and he's begun to uh, set up the cart. I call shotgun. Okay. Uh. I need. I do need to know the layout of your traveling positions here. Uh, okay. Uh, but same it as me. In the I don't. I don't think. I don't think I was ever like. Is this like bus layout or is this like, um, like I, uh, Oregon Trail wagon? Oregon Trail, so like the little side benches that just fold out on the, like, on the inside. I, that yes. was my envisionment. Yeah, it's like okay. one person's up front with the driver and one person's looking out the back in the opening. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was multiple people. Up who's going, who's going to be back. in the front this time then? Uh, you want to be Kith? I, that's what Kith says in character. I want to. But you can totally overrule her. Me as a player has no real concern. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Kith is up in front next yep. to Pratchett. She hops up into the front seat with her yarn. Okay. Uh, you do, as you're sitting up there next to the driver's position, you do see old Reliable underneath the bench. It's stock kind of sticking out underneath from it. Cool. Uh, okay, so who is looking out the back? Uh, I was gonna be, but then I realized I don't have very high perception. High I perception. Will. think last time Wander, yeah, Wander, Wander can look out the back. Okay, and then Ollie declared that she wanted to sit on top of the canvas. <clears throat> yeah, she wants to climb up on top of the canvas. She can chill, but she's not gonna. But... She'll, she'll, um, she'll probably not do that the whole time because she's going to get jounced around and it's going to be kind of boring up there by herself. Um, okay. But she's going to start out up there. Okay, then I have some rolls to make. I feel like a trampoline. Oh no. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, I'm probably going to be sitting in the middle, fletching arrows and bolts. I'll probably be near the back with Wonder, just scanning out the back. Also, this music is... Got intense. It's yeah, Diablo. Then... Oh, that's well, nice. So. I felt like we walked into <laughs> Castlevania for a minute there. We're entering Wallachia as we speak. Wait, I don't know. Diablo music? No, that's just what this... That's what this uh, playlist decides is appropriate for travel music is Diablo dungeon exploring music, so I don't fuck. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay. Like, a lot of the running music in Diablo is good travel music. We just... Anyway, so, we have a couple options here we can choose between. Right. Um, options. Uh, I rolled, those. so I know how the travel is going to go. We can choose to fast forward through this first part all the way up to the second fairy house. Or we can choose to play it out. Uh, I'm I'm for fast forwarding until the fairy house. Sounds good to me. Since, since we if, already know yeah. that route and it's already kind of yeah. So yeah, I just so house. just briefly, what what are we fast forwarding through? Are we like so you would be fast forwarding through riding on the cart, and then boarding the ferry at the first gate, and then unloading off the ferry at the second ferry house. Okay, I mean, that seems like a reasonable thing to fast forward through if Question. it's not going to be Is the half-orc with anything. us? What? The half-orc, is he with us or are we meeting him somewhere? You, are, you He's he is we're not meeting, near you. Yeah, we're, meeting, yeah, we're him meeting him at the, I guess, camp outside of the Sunken Forge. Or in the Sunken Forge. Okay, or around that's the what I was forge. wondering. I don't know. So, I, I, I do think that we want to... Uh, we aren't just sitting in silence in the cart this entire time, right? Like, we're socializing no, cards any, and all that. I'm just if there are me. conversations you guys want to have, you can totally have them. <clears throat> I'm I don't know that there was anything specific, but it seemed like the last time we talked that there was some confusion about, like, how well we are getting to know each other. And I would just wanted to <clears throat> clarify what we you were You guys assuming. are spending three days traveling just on this cart. Like, if y'all are just sitting there staring at each other, that's going to be the most disappointing cart ride. <laughs> We're yeah. literally just potatoes. <laughs> I'm gonna chat up everybody as is Kit's way. So that's what she's doing. Nice. And okay. playing with so Yarn. And I'm crocheting us, a hat us for all the horse. staring at each other with Kit's constant commentary okay. in the background. That's fine. I mean, <laughs> can I roll to crochet uh, a hat for the horse? That's all I want to do. You oh. uh, sure? Are you <laughs> proficient with any tools? I don't know. No. <laughs> Um, okay. I'm proficient with a disguise kit, painter supplies, and thieves tools, but I don't have a disguise kit or painter supplies. I would say disguise kit would work for this, but you don't have one. So roll me a dexterity check. Okay. Hang on. I forgot to load my sheet. Okay. Uh, dexterity. Would you... Just straight dexterity? Well, actually, you don't need to be super dexterous to crochet. This is more a mental thing. So roll me a wisdom check. Okay. That's much better. I'll take it. Oh, I'm a natural. Uh, you certainly are. Um, you make a hat for the horse, and it looks re positively dashing. All right. Is it a girl horse <laughs> or a boy horse? It doesn't matter. Whatever. Does it have <laughs> little ear holes? So the yes, ear, absolutely. Like, can, like, that's awesome. That's that's exactly what I'm doing. All okay. I'm thinking of is like a stocking cap. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to leave it as a gift for the driver when we move on to the ferry. Is it red okay. with a little pom-pom? Are we going into wintertime? No. Are we? <laughs> what season is it? It's July. It's no, it's, it's not. Summer. That's summer. Okay. Mm. So it's an autumn. It's a, like a summer to autumn hat. Yes. Right. It is yeah. seasonally appropriate <laughs> to the current themes of the culture in our area. Echo, okay. Do you, do you want me to roll to fletch the arrows and bolts, or is that just... We Yes, we're going to roll for that. Okay. Up. It's not going to be a hard roll, but that's because you already rolled the hard one, but we're mm -hmm. still going to do it. Uh, what do you want for that? Uh, okay, uh, so how many arrows is it again? Uh, it is 50 arrows and 25 bolts, but uh, 10 arrows and 10 bolts uh, get the twisted arrowhead. Okay, when you craft arrows, it's traditionally in chiefs of 20. So, uh, I guess that's going to be four rolls here. Go ahead and do me... A wisdom plus proficiency check. Okay, wisdom plus one plus two. 
Oof. Okay. Now another. Okay. One more. And one last one. Okay. So. Um. <laughs> the first sheaf of arrows you fletch together, they are not straight. <laughs> uh, you're the the tail feathers are definitely not in the line, and you are not certain they're going to fly very well. Darn. However, the rest of the ones you craft just fine. Okay. Now, uh, I, I would imagine with the first ones, because they're going to be, you know, uh, I'm not exactly the most used to fletching arrows. I wouldn't have used my my nice arrowheads on the first batch. I would say that's probably sound. All right. So I will hand uh, the not goofed up uh, arrows and the ten uh, twisted arrowheads to uh, wander, and then I will take my uh, ten uh, bolts. And then how how many bolts do you think that, that would have made? Twenty-five. Okay. Well, you said there were. There is 50 for... and 25. Yes. And I had you roll four times, which is enough for 80. So Okay. They're all made. There's just 20 of them are shitty. But I will warn her of the shitty ones. Uh, Wander, okay. do keep track of that ammunition, especially yeah, the ones that's, with that's the... that's what I'm trying to think of how I can keep track of the... Uh, other possessions at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Other possessions. Uh, I do need to know when you are using one of the uh, healing preventative arrowheads. There's ten of them, right? Yes. Artery shredding ones. Hmm. The triangular bayonets. Okay. I will let you know if I'm going to use those ones. Okay. Depending on the creature you're shooting it at, it might have a slightly higher AC. Okay. But it will also prevent healing, so that, you know, there's a trade-off. Okay, so... Anything else you guys want to do before you... before this all? Any conversations you guys have during the ride? I just chit-chat. Okay. So, as you guys depart from Barum, it's not the best of weather. Uh, it seems like you've had pretty bad luck with weather every time you've gone on these drought, these journeys. It is raining pretty heavily. Uh, the high canopies of the forest seem to protect the roads a little bit. But you still find yourselves getting wet and kith. You're damp. It's okay, being out as long of, as being I can out keep the, front, the cloak you know. over I mean, the crocheting. I am, I am not going to still be on the roof of the wagon in the rain. I will come inside. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, there were you definitely did get maybe an hour hanging out up there. Okay. So you got to go into the forest riding on top of the wagon, and it's not the most stable place to hang out. the The bent wooden supports on the inside of the cart are not generally used to supporting a person. <clears throat> you are a small person, so you don't break them, but it's very wibbly wobbly while you're up there. Um. You kind of felt like you were sitting maybe on like a waterbed sort of situation. So it might have been fun for a moment, and then it started to rain, and you were like, oh, fuck this. As you guys go into the forest, and you make your way out to the ferry, it is calm and peaceful despite the heavy rain, and there's no sign of troll attack as you saw the first time you went out on this venture. Um, the first and second nights you do hear of wolf activities going around, but you guys don't see anything. It is a quiet journey for the most part, and Cratchit makes small talk with whoever is out on the front of the <coughs> cart, which is Keth. Oh, sure, oh, I'm boy. happy to talk to him about anything and everything. Uh, he doesn't really talk to you about much important. He like asks, he comments on the hat you're making for the horse. Um, <laughs> he asks. <laughs> what sort of training you took at the academy. Oh, I'll tell him all um, about that. He <laughs> he listens with some interest as you describe treats grumpy bullshit. Um, it's a relatively pleasant journey when you guys get to the ferry house. I'll give him a little healing if he has any neck aches or back aches. Uh, 
I he mean, doesn't, but he appreciates the offer. Okay. As you guys get to the River Rhyme and you board the ferry, it is the same ferry as it was the first time you went. And same Goliath. Uh, and as you guys go up the river, it is a little bit uh, turbulent. The ride is not as smooth as it was the first time around. Um, there's a few times where you're worried the ferry might bed itself into the sides of the river or get stuck up in the river banks, but it seems to be okay. The Goliath seems to know what he's doing, and the ferry does make its way past the first ferry house until it moors at the second, and you find yourselves ready to depart. Okay, so how many days since we left? It has been five days. So it's now the 29th. Of 6069, the summer 69. Gotta do my little travel dots. I'm just gonna put 11 a.m. Yeah, where's the travel dot? Oh, yeah, I love it. E. Bum, ba da dum, bum, ba da da dum. Oh, here, let me erase first part of the purple. Right. Okay. So, this fairy house is smaller than the first one. Uh, you remember this vaguely after your panicked escape from Siren's Reach. This fairy house is basically just a dock and a small shack with supplies in it. Um, you see that the where the rivers kind of break apart, uh, the river that goes to the left is much smaller, much more turbulent, and the river to the right is the one you did not follow. Uh, so, you guys have left the ferry, you said your goodbyes, and the road ahead of you up toward the Golden Cascades and the Cayenne and Delta is the direction you need to go. I would like a marching order, please. <sighs> um, I would like to be near the front. I don't know mm -hmm. if I should be first. I want to be behind Ollie. Take the so, rear. Yeah. So we have it. I'm guessing Wander's going to be first or something along those lines. Yeah, because I can't get lost. In the yeah. Well, as long as we're in the woods, I can't get lost. But I don't want to be, be right in front of Lucem because he's moist. <laughs> <laughs> well then. <laughs> um. Alrighty. Damn it. <laughs> Speaking well. of, is, is Lucem alive? Push to talk. Hello, can you hear me? <laughs> yes. Yeah, now. Fucker, I disabled push to talk. Motherfucker, hold on. I gotta find <laughs> out what's wrong. <laughs> But Ollie doesn't want to be in the very front. This is like one of those logic puzzles where you have to make I, out I the chart. I can be in the very front. I oh. just, I just if thought... Ollie is in front of Kith, but behind Mori, <laughs> yes. then Mori But Kith is refuses to be in front of Luthsome because he's wet. <laughs> so, <laughs> but Wander needs to be at the back, question. and you can't put Thormir next Wait, to him. Wait, hold on. What'd you say? Um, I'll, I'll, we... just, I'll just be in the back. I'll be in the front. <laughs> Ollie can be right behind me. Okay. And she's at the front, but not at the very front. There we go. We got it. We we yeah. solved the logic puzzle. <laughs> what, did you, what did you What did you want to say, Kiwi? This just sounds like a really bad math question. It is. Yeah. I always hated those when I was, you know. I in love those. School. Well, now you have a party that's basically just a bad math question. Yeah, but you guys are solving it yourselves, so I just get to sit here and laugh at you. Oh. <laughs> you say so nice. I figured it out. You, you out say solve. And he can also you... tell us just to give him the answer. You said solve, yeah. but I think you meant a uh, burn down. Yeah. Make ten times more complicated than it needs to be. Hey, can you put all our icons on the map and we can line them up in order? Yeah, that's I... a great idea, actually. Sure. Just put them in the desert by the dry marches there. Ooh, they're big. Aha. Okay. All right. Oh, all right. I'm over towards we, the front, we are but large. not too far. You are large. Which which way are we the lining us up? The front should be this way because we're this going towards. This is the front. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> this is well, the then front. I'm third. Why are we so big? 
<laughs> because the map, map scale. Not, it's not scale to grid. It's just no. I know that. <laughs> All right. Um, so Ollie is clipping into Morgan. Whoever's That's the fine. green one needs to move. Yeah, green one. Yeah, green. Wait, what? I'm your move, your guy. Him. Yeah, because Ollie's Wait. behind. Wait, what do you mean? Oh yeah. So Ollie. Be like... Maybe we should just like do it this way, to where it's from right to left, and we just read it that way. Or left That's what right. I tried to do, but thank. Hey, no turning. Hey. All right. Oh God. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Here's number one. Here's okay. number two. Here's number three. Number four, and so on and so forth. Okay. Okay. I'm number three. I'm on number one. Okay. <laughs> Like a well-oiled machine. I think, I think we should put uh, we Morgan. And then Morgan just over there because she doesn't want to be a part of this madness. <laughs> She's done a lot of effort to figure out where the fuck we're standing. I'm, I'm not I, even I just... sure what's going on, so I'm going to wait for everyone to be done. And then we're... place myself. Yep, just put her in the middle there. You gotta move yeah, yourself put... between Lusum and Yor. There you yeah, go. The squishy. Mori in the middle. Okay. <clears throat> uh, by the way, Mori, Coria is on your shoulder right now. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. <laughs> Who squished three more numbers in there? I would like perception it's checks 4. from. Four point five because Morgan jumped in between me and your. I would like perception checks from Wander, Ollie, and Thormir. Perception. Nope. No. Mm. <laughs> I'm perceptive today. Ollie has oh. sneezed. <laughs> We're too busy having a party up front. <laughs> yeah, Kith and Ollie need to be separated when they're in class because they can't concentrate whenever they're next mm -hmm. to each other. Um, um, we get we get distracted playing rock paper scissors. Oh yeah, and Boulder, paper, oh, shears. oh, twenty questions, and I spy. Oh, I spy. <laughs> I but we'll do it in halfling so it doesn't distract everybody else. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing well, distracting about people uttering a language you don't speak. It's easier to you, tune out. As you all are heading toward the Rimwood, you find yourselves in the foothills uh, just east of the Golden Cascades. Though, this is a bit what that looks like. Ooh. Ooh. Gotta Ooh. zoom out. That looks really pretty. It does look really pretty. What kind of things could we draw on this? Oh, I can't wait to find out. Trees. I can't fire. Flower. Still rolling fire. yard. Can't fire. <laughs> Though these foothills are go pretty much, they're unnamed. Uh, they're generally what people just consider the base of the Golden Cascades. Uh, you've heard of explorers and merchants setting up uh, places to shop in these foothills as a lot of people head towards Siren's Respite, whether it be on a holiday sort of situation or this is just the fastest way to head north from any of the towns south of the Golden Cascades, um, with the exception of uh, the river. So, when you guys are heading north and you are pushing through these foothills, uh, with those perception checks, it's pretty quiet out here. It's nice and breezy. The rain has died away, or at least you've gotten out from underneath of it. And you can see the mountains climbing up to your left. And you don't really feel, really like, feel like that's going to be the best way to go, so you ignore them and as you push along. Um, the first day of travel, you don't have like a set road. There's not like a paved or gravel road to follow, but there are clear signs of travel along this these foothills. And wonder with that 14, you do find what looks like the most beaten path northward. Cool. Um, I'd like you to roll me a survival check. Ugh. Survival. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I don't like the way you said that. <laughs> That's okay. You don't have to. So, Wander is uh, trying to get a grasp of the way north and the proper way to get through these foothills. And a couple times you see her kind of look around and then get back on track 
as if she's not entirely sure which way to go, but she knows that she's heading in the correct direction for the most part. Um, this first night, I'd like to know how you guys are setting up camp because these foothills are pretty much empty of trees. Uh, the mountainside is maybe a quarter of a mile to your left. Uh, hmm. It's pretty much open space, so wherever you camp, you don't think you're going to be able to hide it very well from anything, but you have not seen very much wildlife or other travelers so far. Uh, are there any... Uh, actually, I'm going to make a perception check for this. But I just That's a good way to start a question. Yeah. Uh, would there be any... Like someone in the picture, would there be any overhanging like half hills that could kind of serve as like a backstop for a camp? There are some taller hills that look like maybe parts of them were washed away from erosion. Um, they're not really sharp enough to shield you, but there's definitely places you could set yourself up against. Hmm. Uh. If we are setting up camp, you are would just um, point out kind of some of the areas that might be the best. Can we pack a tent? I don't know, did we? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah standard I, I hope traveling. We, I hope we did. Okay. I assume you are competent adventurers. You assume <laughs> wrong, but okay. Apparently so. <laughs> All right. So I would like survival <laughs> checks from um... Yor, who's trying to find this proper location. You gotta find a good camping spot. Oh. oh. So, it's Eeyore, a... <laughs> you find a couple locations between some crested hills that you think is okay. Right. Sit on a fire ant colony or something. No, that, you uh, don't see that, any fire ants. I'm gonna be in that one. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say this just in case I don't think we should have a fire tonight. Why? Well, because we'll be able to be seen for miles. We can make a little one and sit around it and shield it. Dig yeah, a little hole, a, put it down in a hole. You're not in the middle of a plain. Like, there are hills that block view from too far away. Um, it's You're in foothills. It's not, like... It's not dense with foil fo fo foliage? Foliage. It's foliage. just that... But it's not completely flat either. Right. Yeah. And also... Lowlands. Okay. Also, no so, people need need fire to not freeze to death. And cook. Well, I mean, I, it's middle of summer. I assume it's not gonna drop below freezing. Well, it's, no. It's, you're probably not gonna freeze to death if you don't have a fire. But um, but your makes... rations will be cold. Mm, that's yeah, true. I can cook. A small fire, like early on, maybe. If, we'll if we're dig doing a hole. shifts, yeah, I was gonna say if we're doing shifts, then someone can simply light a fire like near the like last two shifts that way it's ready for like, i can extinct and i can extinguish a fire without generating much smoke good point um this is why you're the designated cook <laughs> magic i thought it was just because i liked cooking but um well that too <laughs> you're that because you're good at what you do and you like doing it yes hey Anyways, yes. uh, if we do have a fire at all, we should make it a small, small fire, enough to warm up our meals and then put it out. Sure. Okay. Yes. Are we fine. specifically worried about being spotted by something? Uh, I don't... I'm more worried about things like bandits or something. <laughs> I mean, bandits, I think you can handle most bandits. Rogue monster around here i mean we're pretty tough and we plus... are but there are lots of things that <clears throat> could get us possibly. i mean i don't mind security just i, I was would, just yeah. asking if there was something I would, specific i would say that us being snuck up on especially in this kind of area would be a bit hard yeah but you like, gotta remember but sure. a lot of us don't have dark vision that's what the fire is meant for with some, I'm gonna. Yes. If it's a set up if, my it's, tent. if it's a fire that is that small, it's not going to give us much light. 
Yeah, but if the, but if the fire is bigger than that, then they'll be able to find us really easy. Roll me like survival making... check. Whoever would like to. Uh, sure. I like rolling. <laughs> oh. I'll just make one too. We're, ever... we're all we're all alive. <laughs> okay, so uh, oh, Wander <laughs> and Ollie both almost come to the same solution almost at the same time. You could probably block any view of a fire from anywhere else if you just built a lean-to. That's a good yeah. idea. Build a lean-to. Guys. <laughs> 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 Lucem, you come to that idea uh, like as they go lean to. <laughs> I, I, Lucem just kind of just uh, freezes in place and goes, "Yeah, that's a good idea," and just kind of walks away. And that I totally thought of that. Okay, there's that, lots that... of these foothills have lots of small like debris and shrubs that you could collect to build one. Or I think. <laughs> I think Thormir still has a bundle of wood from breaking the bench at the temple at the festival. Yup. So, could he's, use that. He's basically our dwarven T-34. He's just got a bundle of Take logs a on his back at all times. and a piece of tarp. You could just set the tents up, like, so that they're blocking. You could. Yeah. There are many solutions yeah. to this problem. <laughs> we got okay. this. I'm like a walking, talking, like, hardware store. So you are. My thing is, is I, I'm gonna do shapes for this, cause shape. So I maybe. The... You did not no, finish your okay. sentence before cutting out. Okay, so apparently I can't draw on what is not the picture, so I'll I'll erase it in just a minute. But I was thinking we could have like. The campfire here, and then the lean-to here, and then the tents here, and here, and then the hill here. Maybe? I don't know. I, I think I get what you're saying. We make this a, can we just roll to successfully not... make a lean-to? Yes, that's all you just, have to do. This do image that. is not, yeah. like... An exact illustration of what you see. This is like a. Oh no! Mood I, w I was. I can't draw on what is not the image. So Roll survival. I... <laughs> Make a Roll lean survival. to. <laughs> with with the three of yours, eighteen, twenty-two, twenty-one, you can make you you. Can you, make camp, the best you can do it. Right. I don't know why we're spending <laughs> so much time on this. Star scream approved. I was just doing like a top-down image of what I was thinking because like I can only make shapes on the picture. That's not where I thought the things would go. Understood. I, that's understood. You have a lean-to. Cool. Okay. All right. Good I'd like to know what started. order of watches yeah. and how you guys prep. What sort of cooking you wanted to do if you did. I'm definitely going to take, cooking. Yours is going to take first watch, and I'm guessing Ollie's going to be there because she's cooking. I'm on third watch with Thormir, as per the norm. I'll be on second watch with one of the people with dark vision. I'll do second watch then. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna make a stew with some of the dried meat and dried fruit. And as usual, Morgan will wake up early. Um, I will be doing ritual cast alarm around the campsite. Good call, so you lay out that silver thread. All right. All right, Ollie, I'd like a cooking check from you. Seventeen. That's insight. Yeah, it is the same. Uh, it's so wisdom cooking plus is, in, is wisdom plus oh. proficiency. I don't actually have a skill for cooking, so we've been using my insight because it's wisdom. Oh, I did not notice that until now. So, weird. you cook. What do you cook? I make a stew with the dried meat and some of the dried fruit and uh, just some spices and salt that I have stored away. Okay, there's lots. Yeah, the the higher quality rations that Thormir bought, there's plenty to work with here. And you make a good meal. Um, I would say everyone will gain 
three temporary hit points for eating that for yeah. the next day. <laughs> it all makes a difference. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first watch, who is it? Me and... I thought it was us too. Yeah, me and Ollie. Roll me perception checks. All right. Uh... And Thormir, roll me a percentile. <coughs> uh, Ollie, do you want to do... Uh... Okay, you're doing it separate. Oh, no. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm I... just going to... Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to... Ollie is very alert. Right yeah, now, I'm just gonna apparently. I'm just gonna roll perception just for the hell of it because I don't think Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's just say let's just say that's with an advantage because mine doesn't matter. Okay. Mosquitoes are kinda of bothering you, Yor. Yeah. But Ollie you see everything. Um it is a quiet night. Uh, you do hear the random wildlife around the foothills that you wouldn't notice unless you were silent and still and paying attention. With a 24, though, with a natural 20 on perception, you do catch something interesting. Something high up. And you, out of the peripheral, as the suns are setting and everyone's bedding down and it's getting dark... It, you watch, the light catches something as it's going over the horizon high up toward the mountain peaks and you see that the sunlight is still on some of the mountain peaks and you catch a silhouette of something high and flying. I'd like you to roll me an intelligence check. Boy. And 11. Uh, so you see something that's flying high, high, high up in the sky. Um, it's from here. You don't think it's very big. You can't really tell, but it is big enough for you to see it down here. Um, and it is flying kind of in lazy circles around the mountaintop and you watch as it's going off and it's not close to you. Um, perhaps the only reason you can see it is because occasionally the suns, as they are setting, their light glints off whatever this creature's wings are. What do you think that is? Uh, what, what is, Ollie? Uh, Ollie points up there! Roll me an intelligence check, Yor. Because you see it Oh now. god. Sorry. Intelligence. Uh, there it is. You're kind of impressed that she spotted this thing. <laughs> As in the haze of the evening, it's ten hard to focus on. Um, with the 10 and 11, all you guys get is occasionally, as the sun twinkles off it, you get a hint of red. Hmm. Red? Hmm. Oh, whatever it is, let's hope it stays up there. Probably what? will. I mean, yeah. far out. Seems to be enjoying itself. Uh, as you guys watch it after maybe 30 or 40 minutes, you watch as it suddenly drops toward one of the mountains it's by, and it seems to vanish from sight. Um, and then maybe an hour later, you see it reappear uh, in the much darker sky. You can just catch its glimpse just over by another mountaintop. <clears throat> if that's the same one. Might be. Yes, yeah, so would this be the thing that I described using Corey's vision earlier on the trip? No, it would not. <clears throat> but, aside from that, your watch ends peacefully. Time for slip. Second watch is. What was that? It's me and Wander, I think. Yep. All right. I it will. Be us. I will boop the Wander awake. <laughs> okay, Wander, you to... awaken to a poke on the nose. Yep. That just your, happened. Your turn. And then he just kind of gets back into his bed roll. <laughs> okay. So, Wander, oh, you 
Are you watching by yourself? No, Lucem's watching with me. Ah. Yeah. Okay, I'd like perception checks, please. I'm gonna let Wonder do, do it with advantage. Woohoo! Thank God okay. I had the advantage. <laughs> yes! With a 23, he's good. He's you, good. you actually catch a glimpse of the same thing I described to your and uh and Ollie. It's it's a thing flying high up above the mountains. Uh it's pretty far away. You can't really tell what it is. Uh with a twenty-three though, you do catch the sounds of what looks like or rather what sounds like a cart. Uh it's definitely not nearby, but you can hear wheels rattling off of stone and grass over one of the nearby hills. Hmm. So, like, look at Lucim and be like, there's definitely someone nearby. I can hear a cart somewhere. They're not super close, but just keep your eyes open. I will. If they get too close, I'll wake the others. Will do. Okay. Uh, is there anything you guys want to do during your night watch? Pay attention to that. Uh, just, uh, I think Lucian's going to be super paranoid. Because it's not very often he's out in the open <laughs> like this. So it's not... Yor did not pick the best camping spot. But it is kind of surrounded by hills. Yeah, um, but there's, there's open sky. Yes, there is. It's and actually with... a cloudless night. Um... You see oh, now the there are lots of stars poking out and all sorts of nebulous uh, colors in the sky. It's kind of gorgeous out here. That's 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 worse for him. <laughs> the he sky's gonna like, fall on your head. No, he doesn't like. He feels exposed when he doesn't have like a roof or something over his head, and the trees do that. It's a roof, quote unquote. But Bit it, of agoraphobia. When, there's, when there's when there's open air, it's like oh god. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get snuck up on and die. <laughs> okay. Uh, listen. I'd like you to roll me a survival check at advantage. All right. A sixteen. What 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 did that do? <laughs> uh you kind of got a tickle of fate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn a use of what the hell is it? Never mind, I can't. I was gonna see if I could uh, use Hunter's Bane to sense if they were nearby, but no. I can track them, but I can't see if sense if they're nearby. Okay. Well, you definitely have a tickle of it. You kind of feel that strange, almost like alluring pull that Fae tend to come with. I have warned Wander about it. They like, hey, they're possibly Fae nearby. I don't know if it's my my paranoia or if they're actually here, but I kind of I, I I can that they're here, if that makes any sense because of my training. I understand. I, I, yeah. Wander, yes. with that 23 perception check, yeah. I'm going to write you a whisper. <sighs> hmm. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> a whisper! Oh no. Oh no, it's a secret. Indie Beyond, guys. Probably her elven girlfriend. Boyfriend, whatever that was. Girl. <laughs> Neverwinter? You can like do with that is... information what you do. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it to myself. Okay. Oh, no. You don't have to tell these assholes anything. Lose some Romeo perception check. Oh no. This is no good. Deception. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, you see Wander, her eyes are kind of sharp and she's looking all around on the horizon. Uh, you watch as she, her glance kind of catches up at whatever that flying creature is. Um, no alerts. All right. I just, I just kind of write that off as Wander just being like vigilant and I, I hike my vigilance up to like, oh shit, she's getting serious, so I better get serious too. Okay. So, listen, Wonder, what do you guys do for the rest of this night's watch? You have two hours to kill. Um, Wonder's gonna examine the, uh, the arrowheads that Thormir made and kind of sort of look over the janky arrows that he gave her, too. Also wondering if they would actually work. So, you imagine... <laughs> or if she would end up shooting one of her friends <laughs> with them. So, the janky arrows he made. Clearly, you see what the problem is. The feathers were fletched incorrectly. They're not at the right angles. So you imagine that if you shot these arrows, they would have a severely reduced range. Okay. They would probably still poke things, but you wouldn't trust them any farther than like 30 feet. Okay. Cool. And to explain that in game terms, attacks with those arrows have disadvantage. Yes. <laughs> Okay. The Sam's uh, just going to make sure all his gear is clean and try not to make a lot of noise, but he's going to make sure it's all like clean and probably not going to sharpen his blades because that's a lot of noise, but he's going to do the, the oiling and the, the, the cleaning. Okay. You're just doing basic maintenance. Yeah. Okay. Your, the rest of your guys' watch. And quietly, you don't hear any sounds of the travelers coming any closer. The sounds of their cart kind of disappeared off in the distance. Okay. So, next watch. Cool. Who's the next watch? Thormir and Kith. Yeah, okay. I'm going to give you advantage. All right. Before that happens, Lusum, as you awoke them, and climbed into your bedroll to go to sleep. Uh, a sudden <laughs> happens, and your bedroll gets lifted off the ground, and you are hanging by your feet about ten feet above the ground as a magical snare trap has fired off, and you're now dangling ten feet up. And <laughs> Mori, you are here. <laughs> oh, motherfucker! <laughs> Corey, I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> this this fairy dragon has appeared like two feet in front of you and she's laughing at you kind of <laughs> clearly yeah, and then you, and you watch has as, a, I definitely did not know that was going to happen look at her face <laughs> uh, roll me <a> deception check <laughs> Coria is going into your pocket Lusum <laughs> Coria, I swear to God, if you take anything, I actually will take it back from you. Hoard or not. Uh, Coria, like, looks around at you, and her mouth is full of the candies that you bought. <laughs> oh, that's fine. You can have those. I honestly forgot I had those. She kind of, like, cocks her head at you, and then flutters away, disappearing as she does. Fucking dragon, man. <laughs> so, so and uh, could, could, you help, could you cut me down, Wander, please? So, uh, <laughs> it feels like you're hanging from a rope, Lusum. Wander, what is actually happening is he appears to just be floating. Uh, oh. <laughs> I, I think that's up to Coria here. <laughs> You hear, like, quiet munching, and... <laughs> uh, Kith and Thormir, you guys are definitely awake for this. I, I, I'm still awake, right? Yeah! Oh, oh this I, happened I, the I instant can, you got move. in your bedroll. I can, I can still move my arms, right? Yeah, you can. Cool. Hold on, what's in my inventory? I throw so, my water skin at Morgan. Uh, Wait, roll an attack. <laughs> no, not an attack. Just like, hey, wake up and control your dragon, please. Yeah, roll an attack. Oh. A dex-based attack. 
A d20 plus okay. your dex mod. Plus proficiency. 20 plus 1. But that's not the right command. Fuck. Okay, so... I guess I'm just gonna hang here. Did you add <laughs> proficiency to that? What's your proficiency yeah, bonus? Or two, so eight. Okay. Sorry. So, Mori, do you awaken as this water skin just on the ground next to you? I don't know, it's my passive perception of 12 even register? Uh, yeah, that would register that. <laughs> okay. As you'd probably also register the loud complaints of Lusum. <laughs> oh, we were trying to be I quiet just... out here on the open. <laughs> I lift my head from here my bedroll, are. cast to spell magic at him, and then fall back asleep. Okay. Lusum, you suddenly find yourself no longer suspended, and you fall down. Uh, perhaps into the ground. <laughs> on your head. Roll me an acrobatics check. Fuck all you guys. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have Fuck all of you. <laughs> oh, no. No. Okay. Uh, Please you... tell me I don't land on my face. You, it's a natural one. You land the worst possible way, um, <laughs> which is on your head. You take six points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> well, That's... there goes any long rest I was getting. And I'll all of the ten you. hit points. No, because then you oh, won't get long rest either. Gone, no, you, if you go back to sleep, you'll get long rest. Um, but you, your head hurts. You now have a, a mild concussion as Coria's prank has knocked you onto your head. But you're now on the ground. Well, I'm going to check him over at that point. His bleeding. Dude, hold still. <laughs> a rock appears to have lodged itself in his head. Ouch. Oh. You fell on a rock, man. I pluck it out. Quickly heal him. Okay. Your light, I, I guess. As, as, as sure. she, she plucks it out, I kind of like jerk, I jerk my arm up like, no, fuck, stop. But then it's already healed by the time he does. It was like, thanks. He's kind of, he's kind of, kind of grouchy now. Okay. You get so back. you feel, you feel right as rain. <laughs> the you small are back divot All right, falls. go get some rest. There's no longer a small divot in your head from where the rock was. Yes. I, I, I kind of get into my sa into the the sleeping bag, muttering about fucking dragons. Why would you want to fuck dragons, though? You know what I mean. <laughs> so, Kith and Thormir, you guys are uh, having your watch. Hey, Thormir. Yes. I was saying, hey, like, hi, good evening. Oh, howdy. Um, it's a nice night. I'm going to look at the stars, and I'm going to point out all the halfling constellations to Thormir. I'll point out the dwarven ones. Alright. Cool. Halfling ones are better, but, you know, yours are cool too. And they're mainly, mainly mountains, hammers, armaments. <laughs> There's lots of food for the halflings. Yeah. You recognize at least, like, four different legs of mutton up there. Um. Nice. And I Thormir like... is going to be holding that uh, holy symbol like the whole night. Oh. Okay. What you uh, got there? It's the uh, symbol for Olmar. It's a god of protection of valor. Olmar? Yeah, it's one of the new guys. Cool. Taking up religion? Uh, just more of if I could teach you works. some tricks on praying. Hmm. Although Treat didn't really approve of them, but they worked for me. Hmm. I'm kind of just taking all necessary precautions, if possible, after that last encounter. With the Hydra? Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I'd be pretty freaked out, too, after that. It's cool. You relax. I'll keep watch. Alrighty. You just work on your carving. Alrighty. We need to roll perception. I would like some perception checks, please. I'm also replacing the music because what the fuck battle yeah, this fight? Doesn't really it, got, it got very, very, uh, very tense. Yeah. Got spooky. I feel like I'm in a Star Wars chase scene. Okay, so a 21. This feels better. I would like a D100 roll from. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch a tiger by the toe. Your, Give me a D100. 
Okay. A 67. Okay. Kith. With that 21, um, it's a quiet night. Um, every once in a while you hear, like, a frog or some crickets or cicadas off in the distance, and it's pretty peaceful. Um, and then maybe after about an hour begins to get a little quieter. Okay. Uh, and then it begins to drizzle. Ugh. More rain. And then the rain begins to pick up just a little bit. It's not like a harsh rainstorm, but it is... You're getting wet. I'll get an extra cloak. Okay. Thormir, you are also... Damp. Wonderful. We are moist. Everyone's moist now. Are you guys? <laughs> Not just lose them. <laughs> Fuck! You beat me to my own joke. Uh, what? Um, what are you guys doing during your uh? We watch. Yeah. Carve random things. He's carving. I'm chit chatting. Now griping about the rain. Sharing all my tips of how I pray to Kellen for. I personally like to say, hey, how's it going? I feel like most people pray to the gods and just ask for stuff, but I like to check in with him on how his day is going. I think that's important. It adds a personal touch to the prayer. Are you taking yeah. notes? I am. Okay. And, uh, you know, you gotta pick and choose. You can't pray for everything all the time. They're busy. It's gotta I be a good cause. So. Well, I don't really know what Olmor stands for, but I know what Kalimvor likes. Um, as you are talking about Kalimvor, you kind of feel a weird pull. Like physical, mental, like a, it's this, it's a spiritual pull. You kind of feel a, a weird, like an urging. Oh, I think I got his attention. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll leave you to that. I'll drop a little prayer to Kelvor right now. Is that you? Uh, after a brief silence, and then you feel... It's almost like whenever you're in conversation with Kelvor, it almost feels like whatever's going on, the air suddenly feels completely still around you. Um, it's it, you, it probably was unnerving the first time, but at this point, you're used to it. Yeah, it's cool. Um, it's comforting. As he reaches out to you, you suddenly hear over the hill. Over the hill. I see a hill in a certain direction that I'm feeling pulled towards. Uh, you happened to be looking toward the hill higher up from you, toward the mountain, when he said that. Thormir, I think there might be something up over that hill. And Orm Thormir is instantly sword drawn, ready for a battle. He was off in La La Land, and that kind of set him off. Um, okay. Do I see anything? Hear anything? Um, with that twenty-one perception check, and now that you're looking toward that hill, are you moving toward it? So, I mean, I'm going to move forward just a little bit to get a peek. Okay. Okay. I'm going to kind of stay like ten feet behind her. Yeah, I'll sneak okay. up there. You hear the kind of telltale of metal on metal of almost like armor moving but armor that's not well kept and the hair on your neck is standing straight up I back up uh that doesn't sound good and um we should wake the, the group up do you uh Thormir yes feedback opinion I hear people like drawing swords, or something. Okay, I'm I'm a, uh, I'll wake the others. Okay, um, so everyone, you are suddenly awoken by Thormir. What? What? And Ollie is a robot. 
Yes. Oh, what is happening? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, oh, I have silence now. Okay, before he wakes them up, I want to cast silence on the uh, the camp. Because we can hear outside, but they can't hear us, right? No, silence completely There's obliterates silence. sound. There's no sound. There's si silence casts, silence just silences whatever's in the bubble. It doesn't, oh. like, create a zone where no one can hear outside. It's just... Oh, okay. Well, um, maybe I shouldn't do so that then. So your idea would work. Is what he's saying. What I was trying to do was silence us, so they didn't realize that we were, like, prepping. So, maybe we'll wake them up with whispers, and then I'll be like, I'm gonna silence us, so... Your eyes open? That. Okay. And then we um, can, like, lay low and wait for whatever it is to approach, but we're all ready, so we can jump on them, you know? Doesn't silence also get rid of incoming sound as well? Yeah. It basically means that everyone within the radius is just deaf. Is oh. that what you wanted, or is that not what you wanted? I'm pretty sure well, she, wanted watching. To, she, she wanted to create a bubble where we could talk our prep without oh. anyone else hearing us. Yeah, no, that's that what I was that thinking. That's that not would how not work. That, yeah. yeah. So, probably just not do that, yeah. I will instead bless... Uh, I'll bless Thormir. Okay. Okay. Bless Thormir? Yeah. Okay. okay. Bless you, Thormir. Watch you! <laughs> okay. Uh, Lusum, you are awake. I need a perception check from you. Perception. Am I still a robot? Nope. No, nope. you're better. You're better now. Close some things. Yes. Your has sickle out and a bit of eldritch uh, shadowy substance leaking off from the tips of his fingers. He's ready. Okay. Uh, I should mention this before we start. I have my uh, my uh, blood maledict ready. And I'm getting ready to blind whoever it is that's coming over. With a perception check of 12, you don't hear what she's talking about. Um, I'd like oh. you to roll me a survival check. Fuck! You're not getting anything. Motherfucker. Okay. And I guess Lucian's just gonna go back to sleep. Well, hey, hold on. <laughs> yeah, everyone is tense. <laughs> everyone just... is... Screw this, you... I'm going back to bed. You see everyone is tense and alert to noise. So just because your hunter's bane or your hearing doesn't pick up anything, you are still getting context clues from your party. Yeah, um, yeah I'm I was up. to everybody like, hey, I, there's something over there. I heard swords being drawn. I stand up, I grab my quarterstaff. I didn't want uh, to get okay. closer. Okay, I, I thought she was just whispering and waking people up just to kind of quietly get ready. But, no. But I, I just didn't hear what she said. Well, we were, no. we were alerting the group. Okay, so then what was I what was I rolling perception on? I asked you to roll perception and survival. Yeah, and I did. And, and you didn't you make didn't, it. You didn't <laughs> so succeed, you so you don't get to know. <laughs> I, I was what was I rolling on? That's that's my question, but uh, You don't you saying, don't know. You don't know. You didn't make the check. You failed. He gave uh, you an extra Gloria, roll for some reason. Gloria puts me in another fucking so, a, a few seconds pass as Kith has come in a way and alerted you all, and you've all gotten ready. I'm and after a, mm -hmm. after a moment, you guys do hear the same thing that she heard. It's almost like a sudden, a subtle of armor rustling. Um, and then the hill that. Kith is paying attention to. You suddenly catch a glimpse of movement. Uh, what's your guys' uh, dark vision range here? Um, 50 feet. Yeah. Nothing. I still Nothing. need the quarter sheet to know that. Uh, it's 60 feet. Okay. 
Okay, so... Just a second here, as I'm trying to get this set up. Coming over the hill, Wander, you catch this. Um, and are you looking through Coria's eyes right now? Yes. Then you catch this as well. Um, you see movement over the side of the hill, and you can see a drawn, stricken, gaunt face wearing a helmet. And you see that whatever this creature is, is armed as it's coming down over the hill. Um, as it comes more into the light, uh, Kith, you kind of catch a glimpse of a silhouette and the smell of rotting flesh. Yeah, I was about to ask nose. if I could do Eyes of the Grave. You can. Boom. Doing it. Und there are four undead in front of you. Mm. Guys, there's four of them. And I'll point them out as best I can. Or what? Undead things. Uh, roll me a religion check. Um, how close is the one in armor? They're all in armor. Oh. Undead uh, warrior boys. I'm not great. <laughs> uh, they are in armor. You see they have... Uh, two of them have swords. One of them has a bow. And the other one has, like, an axe and shield. And they are kind of soundlessly moving toward your group. They're not talking. They're not moaning. They're just kind of shuffling forward, apparently with a goal in mind. I'd like to roll initiative. Yeah. I'll do that. Same. I'm too trusting. I'm already like, well, maybe they're good zombies. Maybe we shouldn't <laughs> um... kill them. Yeah, that's not a thing. That's never a thing. Oh, we're killing them. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we better do it right. Sucks suck for um, you, but I'm different. I am very uh, biased against undead. I think bias is a very weak word to describe your burning hatred for it. Probably. Um, who's near me currently? Hold on. Uh, Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get into the fight and I'll get to that. I'm already planning things, I'm sorry. It's okay. Here's a quick battle map. Okay, so, Mori, what is your initiative? I don't, see a, I don't see a battle map. map. I, don't I don't see a battle map. What? I, I see some cool things uh, and some birds. There we go. I just had to reload. No. Just refresh your page. Okay. I will do. Yeah, it wouldn't let me draw earlier. What's the first Wander, one? your initiative is 23? Yep. Ollie, what's your initiative? 10. I your rolled shit. Your is 14. Why is roll 20 so freaking broken right now? Everything I do is like on a delay. It's always like and that for since me. I rolled shit and my initiative is low, I'm going to run and go pee really quick. Okay. Oh, fair quote. All right. Kith, what's your niche? 12. Oh, shit. Even my character sheet's loading slow. Mm -hmm. So, Wander, you yeah. are up first. There are four of them. They're kind of mostly in a line. Uh, the two uh, the two with swords are up in front, and then the one with axe and shield is in the back to the left, and the one with the bow is farthest in the back. Uh, what would you like to do? I'm going to take a shot at the one in front on the left. Okay, the swordsman on the front, on the left. Yeah. Roll an attack. See if this works. 14 hit. 14 does not hit. Okay, I miss. They appear to be wearing metal armor. Rude. But you think their AC is a little better than that. Glory, um. What else do you want to do? I think I'm 
gonna move a little bit this way to try to get a better angle on the archer for my next turn. Okay. But that's it. Mario, it's your turn. What do you want to do? Yeah, you have a couple of things you can do. Uh. Where is Coria right now? On my shoulder. Okay. Or like on, on like hovering over my head, so I have like vision, you know. Sure. Um. Well, you can't like you can't really fight from yourself while Cory is at you all your vision is in yeah, Cory's head. Yeah, it would be on my shoulder then. Um Oh, so I would have to get out of Cory's vision in order to do stuff. Yes. Okay, I understand. Uh Prick, that's a little bit of a problem. Uh Yeah, I'll cast um Maximilian's Earth and Grass. Earth and Grasp. And Okay. Earth. Uh, Arthur, yeah. What is the save on that? Um, it is a strength of fourteen. Strength save fourteen. Yes. And I'll cast it right between. Um, let's see if I can ping this. These two, and it's gonna grab the this one right here. Or okay. Two at least. Uh, I rolled a natural one. Uh, ah. So that is grappled and. But I... So this one is grappled, yes? Yes, it takes 2d6, but your damage is restrained. Okay. Uh... That okay. one is grabbed by an earthen fist that suddenly emerges from the ground and just, like, climbs up its body and <laughs> pins fists. it in place. The fists of God. Uh, six points of damage. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, I think that's all I can do right now. I can't do anything as a bonus. So, I will stick where I am. Okay. Alright. Uh, then it is going to be uh, the turn of the one who's grappled and the bowman. Okay, the back. One who's, back. Uh, back. The one who's grappled, uh, can he break out of it? Uh, yes. Um, every time, every time it's their turn, or I attempt to crush them using an action. Okay. What is the check to break out of it? Uh. Is it another strength save? Yeah, fourteen. Failed. Okay. Nothing happens to it, just can't break out. Okay. Is that was that its action or was that just a check? That's its whole thing, it can't do nothing. Okay, so that one is useless. The next white is going the one with the bow is oh. going to take a shot. Uh, oh yeah, it, it uses its action, so if it has a bonus action or like It has like nothing that. it can do, really. Okay. It's it's melee. Um and this it's is there a there. new spell for me. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. The bowman is going to take a shot at the one who it saw cast a spell. Uh, okay. Uh, hang on. A uh, twelve. Does a twelve hit? Uh, twelve is my armor class. Okay. Then you take an arrow. Okay. Uh, you receive. Eight points of piercing damage. Oh. Right. As you, this earthen grasp, pins one in the place and it attempts to force its way out, silently straining, and then an arrow suddenly <laughs> sinks into your shoulder uh, all the way to the fletching. It hurts. <clears throat> a lot. Eek. Uh, but it is now Lucem's turn. Uh, this one with the bow is going to move... Uh, this way, and it kind of gets some half cover behind the hill steepage here, as it's going down a little bit. Uh, Lusum, what would you like to do? I am going to cast Hex on this one. Okay, it's Hexed. What, uh, what attribute? It's Necromancy. No, you pick a, you pick a thing to the Hex. What ability score are you Hexing? It has disadvantage on checks with that ability score. No. 
Uh, are you works. sure? Yeah. Place a curse. Also, you choose one ability when you cast a spell. The target has disadvantage on ability checks made with the chosen ability. Oh, okay. Then I'm changing targets. This one, and strength. It, it, that wouldn't. Okay. It's not going to do anything. I mean, it's saving. That's a saving throw, not a check. But you can. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll go with it. Uh, I'll so see which, that it's, that which it's, one is hexed? The the one that's currently grappled. Okay. Because the. Lucien will see that it's struggling to get out and be like, "No, you don't," and just kind of take it, take, take, take the strength away. All right. It is hexed, and you watch as almost it looks like it's almost like suddenly begins to drip with acrid water as it's pinned in place, which it appears to mix weirdly with earth and grass, but doesn't change anything. Hmm. All right, and I also. That's how is this is how it actually looks, right? Like it's proportional. This is what it looks like. The hill, uh, yeah, you can see this right now. Okay. I don't. I can't go through them, can I? Yes. They'll is get it? out of your way. Okay. You can move through friendly squares. You just can't stop there. Okay. I go here and stab him with a rapier. Okay, roll an attack. Let me get back to the page. Four. Here. And then plus 1d6. Or no, hit. Roll Sorry. a d20 plus. Sorry, I'm, I'm not. Come, a... come on, dude. No. Okay, that is not going to hit. You do not have a plus 10 to hit. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm afraid. <laughs> Uh, it is grappled, but despite that, you you fail to poke it. Uh, it manages its armor is too thick, and it manages to just kind of bat away with its free hands. Fill with, his own sword, he kind of parries the strike away. It doesn't say or make any noise. It's almost unnerving how now its kind of soulless black eye sockets are staring at you. Anything else on your turn? That was your bonus uh, nope, action, action, and movement. My... So yeah. Stormer, it's your turn, and then yours on deck. I do need to AFK one quick second because I got a payroll bit. Okay, I do also. I'll be right back. <laughs> I have to go, go but it's all the way upstairs. <laughs> oh, I'll just wait. I'll send you guys a picture of what I just crocheted. It's a little ornament. I'm rolling really, really badly tonight. It happens. Yeah. Turned. Okay. Hello.
Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Okay. I got here before you, but I'm not going to gloat over it. All right. Okay. Dormir. All righty. Uh, I am going to advance to this boy. The one ungrappled. Okay. Oh, he's going to get the smack. And I shall use my longsword two-handed, and I will slash at him. Roll that attack. Oh, 17. Okay. Um, that hits. All right, then I will also use my, uh, my bonus action unarmed strike at him as well. So, 10, but that don't hit. That definitely does not hit. Yep. So roll damage. 1d10 plus 4. Hey, max damage. 14 points of damage. Okay, so you rush up to this white, and you thrust the longsword straight into its chest, and you watch as you're, you manage to get the tip of the longsword between the scales of its armor, and it slides in almost a little too easily. And you bring it yanking back out, and the white kind of lurches forward, does not make any noise at all, which is a little concerning. Um, but as you bring the longsword down for another slash, it raises up its own longsword and just <laughs> knocks it out of the way. Alrighty. And that is the end of my turn. Okay. Yorvander, you're up. Kith, you're on deck. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, you're going to see that they're undead, and I want to check. That's a fire, and I don't want to step in fire. It's a small fire. It's it's. So, so it's I can easiest. Just, like, you, could st you could run over it. It wouldn't burn okay. you. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, six. I would, 30 feet would only give me, like, next to right here, right? I yes. Think. Yeah. Squares. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll move right here. Change it to the move so I can actually move. There, thank you. And this one, which I'm guessing I would see better from right here than I would back this behind one. This one you see has an axe and a shield, mm -hmm. um, and it's staring at you. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't. I'm not about that life, Chief. I'm gonna, just gonna get a spicy Eldritch blast. Okay. On him. That's an eleven. That does not hit. Mm. Okay, it kind of. <laughs> bounces off its shield off into the dirt. It was already dark, though, when I shot it. I don't know how it would be any darker. What? Shadow. It's... The bolt bounced off his shield into the dirt. No, I know. I'm just saying that you said it bounced off into the darkness. Like, how would I see it if it's already darkness it's, itself? This is important. Okay. I know. I'm joking, because I can't do anything, and I'm scared of dying. Okay. you have a bonus action you want to use? Uh... I could use on a bonus action, actually. Uh, uh, t -t 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 -t. I can't do anything on bonus action. I don't think so. No, I'm good. Okay. If you are up, Ollie, you're on deck. I move up here. I cast Word of Radiance. Okay. What's the save on that? 14. Con save. Con Radiant. save. I can't okay. remember if Radiance does more or not. Uh, that it would if this was Pathfinder. Okay, yeah, see. That's why... <laughs> I have too uh, okay. many systems so, in my brain. That's okay. Uh, the one that is grappled fails. The one that is standing there succeeds. Okay. Takes four. Uh, four Bernie damage, okay. Radiant. Makes a difference. Okay, so I gotta record the damage he took. And Burning radiance erupts from me. Okay. Power of Calibor! I have the power! You watch as shimmering, glowing fire just <laughs> blasts up this creature who is pinned by an earthen stone I'll also fist. yell out a thank you to Calibor for giving us a heads up on this. The air is still for a moment. Anything else on your turn? No, that was it. 
Okay, Ollie, you are up, and then the other baddies are on deck. So, Ollie, what do you want to do? There. Yep. Um. So this one is grappled. This one is grappled. Yes. That mean attacks against it have advantage. No, that would be restrained. That's restrained. All right. So I'm going to hit this one. Okay. This one has a shield and axe, so you suspect it's a little harder to hit. Good. Um, I'm going to attempt to hit it. Okay. Give it a shot. First with my quarter step. Yeah, that hits. Oh, no, it doesn't hit. I'm sorry. Okay, 17 doesn't hit. Okay. 17 does not hit shield boy. Okay. Um, then I'm going to try uh, for, with my bonus action. I'm just I'm going to try my unarmed strike. Okay. That does hit. So. Try with the stick. It gets blocked. Come up under with the, the palm strike and just jab it. Okay. So. As the shield kind of knocks away the quarter stuff, it opens itself up for a punch. And yeah, you palm it right in the chest. And this is a blow that you would expect to step anyone back or knock the wind out of them. This creature doesn't make any noise, which is a little unsettling. Uh, but it does take nine points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. All righty. That's my turn. All right. Uh, you want to spend a key point or anything? I've used my bonus action, my action, and my movement, so I'm all spent. Oh, you're spent. Okay. All right. It is the other baddie's turn, and then Wander, you're on deck. So, Yay. the one in front of you, Ollie, is going to brandish its uh, one-handed axe, and is going to swing it at you a couple times. See how he does. Yeah. The first swing misses real bad. <laughs> the second one is a 21 to hit. That will hit. Okay. And then you take... Oh, this is actually not an axe swing. This is... It's kind of an axe swing, but it's not. No. Oh. It's weird. It hits you with its axe, and then it does necrotic damage. So it's a... Axe? I need a con save from you. Oh. Nope. That's a five. Okay. Well, that's not great. Nope. All right. So you take six points of necrotic damage, and your maximum hit points are reduced by that many. As this axe bites into you, you watch as the so, lights... Yes? I had three temporary hit points, so do I... Those would go Does... away first. Right, so those go away first. Does that mean my max is down to 24 instead of 21? It's, or Yes. Okay. It, it The damage would go to the temp, and then the remainder and then, would and go then, from okay, you. Okay, so, so my max is now is temporarily 24. Got it. Yes. So you Thank complete you. a long rest. Um, gotcha, gotcha. So. I'll go, yeah! As you watch as the life energy drains from you through this creature's hand, and then its eyes seem to glow for a moment. As it seems to feel a little better. Uh, okay. Bullshit. I'm sorry. Bombed my check. It is now, <laughs> it's moves over, it moves over here. And Ollie, you find yourself having to defend yourself on both sides. Cool. Okay. And then it is Bowboy's turn. Uh, it sees the most, uh, the most apparent target is the one that it, that cast the spell at it. Um, it sees that it has Thormir engaged with this guy. I'm gonna roll uh Thormir odds or evens. Even. Okay. Uh it's shooting at Mori. Oh no. I rolled an odd. Mori. A twenty two hits. Okay. Uh Mori, you take three points of piercing damage. Mori? Ow. 
Thormir. He is here, just silent. Okay. An arrow shoots past you, Thormir, and sinks into Mori's arm. Three. Three points. I rolled min damage. No, three. <laughs> three. I yeah. it, it was a 22 to hit. It was three damage. Um, he aimed real well. It just didn't go very deep. Okay, so, Wonder, you were up. Mori, you're on deck. Alright, one, two, six. Gonna move. Where? Here. Okay. And take a shot at this dude. Over here. The bow guy? Yeah. Okay, roll an attack. Ugh. Yes, that hits. It does Only four, four, pierce, four points of piercing damage. Yep. So this arrow kind of does connect, and you watch as it sinks into the shoulder leather pad of this creature's armor. Um, and it almost methodically begins to draw another arrow. It doesn't seem to notice that you shot it. <laughs> that sucks. Rude. Yeah. But that's my turn. Okay. Mori, your turn. You have a creature in your earthen grasp. Oh, is that a concentration spell? Oh, no. I think it is. I need you to roll me a constitution saving throw to make sure you can maintain concentration on that spell. Okay, you make the save. DC was 10. So you get to keep the spell up. What does Crush do? Aside from what it sounds like. How much damage does that do? <laughs> okay. Uh, is this a strength save again for him? Jesus Christ. I roll a 4. Okay, so, Lusum, Ollie, you watch as this one that has all these stone uh, fingers wrapped around it. Suddenly the fingers begin to grasp tighter and tighter, and you watch as its bony frame just suddenly gets to compress, and, <coughs> and you hear bones popping out of place. Cool. Uh, kind of gross. Atmospheric question? Sure. Um, how can... It's not my turn, but uh, can I touch the earth and grasp thing or does it only impact the it's the a thing big that's, stone, it's crushing it's like a big stone fist around its legs and it's so it's physically there okay that's yeah. that okay all right maury is that your turn you're gonna move it all okay so you stay in place next it is the sword boy and Sword Boy's turn. Okay, boy. Did you skip over Wander? Or did our Wander already go? Wander already went. Okay, I'm I'm dumb. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I went before Mori. Okay, Sword Boy that sees it has you a little distracted there, Ollie is going to swing at you as well. As you are flanked, it has advantage. These creatures are not dumb. That is a twenty two to hit. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Did you need me to answer that? Yes, 22 hit. No, I'm rolling another one. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and then, okay. And then a 13 to hit. That one misses. Uh, no, yeah, that'll miss. Okay, so for the normal sword strike, you take uh, 10 points of slashing damage. This one was not the life train. I've missed the life train attack, so I'm kind of... Whatever. The next... This other sword boy facing you, Thormir... It's going to attempt to uh, give you the stabby stabs. Okay. Uh, the life drain attack, that's a 23 to hit. I'm going to use parry. Okay. <laughs> so 1d8 plus my dexterity my fire. Roll it. So drop 5 from that. 
23 minus 5, 18. That still hits. Oh, it was a good try. It was, okay. would have been so cool. So it reaches forward with its sword, uh, slashing toward you. You watch as the sword is glowing with necrotic energy, and you're like, no, no, no. And you kind of lift your own sword to parry it out of the way. And it manages to just barely twist it around your slash to cut into you. You feel the blade bite into your neck. You take seven points of necrotic damage. I need a constitution saving throw from you. It's blessed. You have a d4 to add to this save. And one... Yeah, you save. Okay. <laughs> so, it does not take any life from you. It does not heal at all, but it was a little gross as you felt seven points of your life just disappear. Um, the three of it does go from the temp first. Yep. Okay. And then its second swing, this is just a normal sword attack, is going to miss real bad. So, that was unpleasant. You almost feel a little sickened to your stomach as this creature kind of sucked some life from you, but you're okay. Lucem, you are up. Thormir, you're on deck. Hello, yes, I would like to stabby stab with the rapier. Okay, go ahead. Got it prepared this time. That, nope. I that do does not hit. Alright, well, that's my turn. Oh, jeez, okay. Um, Thormir, you're up. You're, you're on tech. That's a disappointing know. turn. Alright, uh, I'm gonna kill the one in front of me, hopefully. So I'm gonna swing at him. Okay, roll that attack. Oh. 15 oh, and, does and not hit. Does Bless also count on that? It's attacks and saving throws, right? Or I think Bless is just for saving throws. Ah, Biscuits, alright. Guidance is for attacks and saving and uh, That's building checks. That's right. Um, I'm going to use my action surge and swing again. Alright. I just fucking mark it off. There we go. And oh, that hits. I will hit him with that, and then I'm going to roll damage first. Eleven damage. Okay. And is he still alive? He's still alive. All right. I'm going to use my bonus action on arm strike. And headbutt it. Yep. Yep. That hits. Five points of damage. Another five. Okay. So. Uh, the first slash it managed to knock out of the way, and you bring it in a rising slash upward, cutting straight into its armor, and you watch as this kind of dark, almost coagulated ichor begins to leak from the slash wounds, and then you plant a solid fist strike right where you cut, and the creature lurches back, but it brings itself back forward again, kind of indeterminately determined. It's kind of creepy how yeah. unmoving this thing is. But you did good damage to it, and you are watching its body having a hard time keeping together. Uh, your it's your turn, Kith. You're on deck. Yes. Your is going to look at the one that is now currently mad dogging Ollie with a axe brandished, mm -hmm. and decide. You know what? I don't like you. He's gonna run up behind the guy. Okay. And he's going to slash him in the back with his... Actually, no. Before he does that, he's going to cast brand, uh, Branding Smite and then smack the guy. Okay, you have advantage on the attack. Yep. As it is flanked. So, Will you describe to me what Branding Smite does? Ah, let me just go get this real quick. Uh, da -da -da -da. Branding Smite, second level evocation. The next time you hit a creature with a weapon attack before the spell ends, the weapon gleams with astral radiance as you strike. The attack deals an extra 2d6 radiant damage to the target, which becomes visible if it is invisible, and the target sheds dim light in a 5-foot radius and can't become invisible until the spell ends. At higher levels, at third or higher, you add a d6 with every spell slot, blah, blah, blah. Casting time, one bonus action, range self, components verbal, Got it, okay. Yeah, concentration up to one minute, so, yeah. All right. So, so basically, anyone within hearing distance would just... can just, uh... 
And just just here's uh, you are just say under his breath without light there's no shadow and then he's just gonna smack the bitch right upside the okay. head yeah Hit that. roll out attack with advantage so, uh, first 17 and that's with advantage right so I'm just gonna roll it again A ah, natural 20 ooh. okay so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to uh, <laughs> uh, Thanks for the advantage. Uh, okay, so, rules. yep. So, that also and, means that all dice you roll, you add their possible number to it first. So, how many d6 does Branding Smite give you? Uh, that's 2d6. Uh, <laughs> okay, so it's your sickle's damage is a d6, right? A d6 plus 4. Okay, yeah. so you roll your normal damage and then add 18 to it. Uh, it uh, I think it does it uh, normally for this. I don't think so. I'm looking uh, at it, and it didn't do that. It says strange, uh, strange sickle. Um, crit, uh, crit five or rolled five, so it gets ten. But, uh, wait, is it doubling what I've rolled, or I'm, I'm confused? No, okay. the way I don't know what that's doing. That's weird. I so roll it yourself. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll it myself. One d six plus four. That's what I'm rolling. You, okay, you have to do the roll first. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying, I'm just saying for clarification, that's what I'm rolling, and definitely not because I forgot to put slash R before it. Sure. Fuck. Okay, okay. five plus 18. Five plus 18. That's 22. 23 points of damage. Yep, and that's not including the Branding Smite yet. Yep, roll the 2d6 for Branding Smite. Okay, 27 oh. points of damage. Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hang on. All right. It's still up, but it's not looking good. Uh, so, Ollie, from behind you, you whip around and you hear your suddenly mutter, without light, there is no shadow. And then the sickle bites into the armor of the white behind you, and you watch as light just <laughs> blasts in all directions as this white is rocked backward toward you. Um, and a huge chunk of bony flesh is just lopped off of its shoulder, and its shield arm is suddenly hanging by ligaments. <laughs> you imagine it's not going to be as hard to hit this time. Okay, That I, was I, a good hit. I met my edge quota for today. You did it. And, and turn. <laughs> Was it like a black light? Uh, I mean, remember that part where you described where my Eldritch Blast mixed with that guiding bolt? It's kind of yes. like that, but in sword form, essentially. Okay. All right. Does Halfling Lock work on rerolling attack things like that? Uh, it's reroll ones. Um, I don't know if that counts damage rolls. When you roll run on a d20 for an attack roll, ability check, or saving throw, you can re-roll the die and must use the new roll. No, that's not a d20. Bummer. All I right. know. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so, Kith, you will continue to be uh, a so, beacon. <laughs> that's a d20. Okay. Uh, this time, the one in the grasp saves, and the one that is not in the grasp fails. <laughs> I poke you. Okay, so poof, another wash of radiant damage. It looks dramatic. These creatures. Not it does look pretty it. cool. It takes one <laughs> point of damage. Okay. Alright, and then is that your turn, Kith? Yeah. Alright, Ollie, it's your turn. Uh, the one between you and your is suddenly looking real shaky on its feet with a not working arm. And then the one behind you is still in the stone fist. And uh, you're not saying much. Beth? Hello. Beth. Nope. Oh, she's typing. Oh, typing. Okay. Disconnect <laughs> and reconnect, maybe? I 
the fuck? Hey, for Christmas, maybe you should get her. <laughs> yeah. Actually. A mic not built by the cheapest bidder. Hey, hey. Beth. Can you hear us uh, now? I think she can. She could always hear us. She just can't speak. Okay. Why? God bless technical problems. <sighs> okay. Roll acrobatics. And an attack. Yeah, you successfully do that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. That hits. And it does 12 points of damage. Okay. Uh, so. Ollie, how do you want to do this? <laughs> To that axe boy. I know. You want me to do it? <laughs> You're a faster typer than most people, so. Okay. So. Ollie. Suddenly climbs up earthen fist that's grappling the first one and as Ollie whips around she almost does a forward flip bringing the quarterstaff down onto the axe boy right in front of you Yor. and you watch as the quarterstaff the helmet of this creature suddenly gets smashed inward and the head almost gets pushed down into its ribcage and the creature's like lurching forward toward you and Ollie lands square on her feet right on this thing's back as it falls to the ground ah uh, yes it's it's dead again. <laughs> it's oh. un undead. Okay, so Ollie, uh, you have your bonus action still and your movement. And that creature's dead as fuck. Almost oh, kind no. of this gross black coagulated blood is collected on your quarterstaff now. But you've destroyed one white. No more pincer movement now. Backing away and running over to that dude. Okay. An arm strike with bonus action. Roll an attack. Okay, yeah, that hits. So, Thormir, out of nowhere, Ollie appears and just... <laughs> Hang on. Let me do math here. Okay, not quite. But comes out of nowhere and just kicks the white in front of you right in the head as she lands up next to you. Oh. That is going to be Ollie's turn. It is now the white's turn. It is now... Uh, Test. Yep. Hey, there you go. Okay, so my microphone isn't my inbuilt, so my headset. Okay, I'm just using my stupid inbuilt mic while my headset one is randomly not working. Okay. Okay. And I'll try to fix it later. Um, the bow creature now has three targets to select from <laughs> that have attacked it, or rather that it thinks is worth attacking. Uh, let's see. Wander, it's going to shoot at you. Woo! <laughs> Is a 13 hit? No. Okay. Yeah, that's its turn. It's it's going to stay where it is, because it has good cover here. All right. Wander, it's now your turn. Mori, you're on deck. Wander, what would you like to do? I'm going to shoot back at it. Okay. It's rude. <laughs> Understandable. A 19 hits. 
11 points of piercing damage. Okay, so you... Uh, which arrow is this? Um, it's just a regular arrow. Okay, so the arrow <laughs> sinks into this, this creature's helmet, and now this white archer has an arrow sticking out of its eye socket, but it doesn't seem to care. <laughs> that's that's great. Uh, uh, she's not really going to move. She's going to make a, a face at the arrow sticking out of this thing's eye socket and just see okay. where she is. <laughs> All right, Mori, it's now your turn. Uh, you did not take any damage this round. So no concentration checks. Okay, go ahead. Um, what would you like to do? I'm going to use Chill Touch on the one next to Ollie. Okay. That was 80 plus 6. Test. I hear you. I'm sorry, but you failed the test. 20 hits. What type of damage is this? It is necrotic, and it has disadvantage on attack rolls until the end of my next turn. Okay. Bye. Okay. So, this kind of disgusting, ethereal-looking hand grips the white in front of you's chest, Thormir. And you watch as dark energy seems to wash into the creature. Um, It doesn't do as much damage as you'd hoped. But it is clearly slowed down a bit. You can almost see it telegraphing all of its motions in front of you. Alrighty. Alright. It is the sword boy's turn. Uh, The one that is grasped is going to swing at you, Lusum, because you are right in front of it, and it can't move. And it does not think it can get out of this grip. So it's just going to try to whack you. Uh, the first attack is the life drain attack. That is a 14 to hit. No. Okay. The next attack is a sword strike. That Before is an 18 that, to hit. Uh, I have a, a reaction thing. Can I do it? Like, in what between? It, what is it? It's my uh, my blood maledict. It's the 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 blind the creature, or would I have to wait until after he makes the second one? Is it an action or a reaction? A reaction. What are the conditions for the reaction? Uh, oppo- impose disadvantage on an attack roll within an enemy is within sixty feet. Makes uh, uh to use your blood maledict. You choose which. Oh, uses. So. It As says... it's about to swing at you, you can do it right now. Okay. That's the whole thing, if you want to read it, but I don't think you do. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. I it, it misses me, and so as a reaction, I just remove its eyesight so it can't see anything. Use your reaction to impose disadvantage on an attack roll. Okay. Yeah. Right, and so this... it is at disadvantage on this attack. Yeah. First swing was an 18, which would have hit. Let's see if the next one will. <laughs> That's a 17. Yes, god damn it. That was a good try. Okay, uh, well, I rolled... <laughs> you take three points of slashing damage. As I rolled min. Again. Okay. Uh... Oh, it's That's my it turn. for the... It is your now your turn. Yep, go ahead. Thormir, you're on deck. Alrighty. After making it blind, I'm gonna stab it. Okay. With the with the rusty Nope, that's the wrong order. Fuck. Hold on. I know what I'm doing. Uh it's gonna hit. Cool. So it deals I eight, do this five. Because I, I did the first one wrong. So five Uh, points of piercing damage. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the rapier kind of sinks into this creature's chest and does not seem to care. Does some damage. You watch as coagulated blood slowly begins to seep out, but it's unpleasant. All right. Next up is Thormir, and then your 
Stormer, what do you want to do? Um, that guy in front of me is still alive, right? Well, undead. He's still up. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm gonna swing at him because we need to drop these numbers a wee bit. Okay. Two-handed. Eleven. Does bless go on to attacks? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, it does. Okay. No, bless is saving is uh, saving throws. Okay. Bless is saving throws and attacks. Is it? It's a D four. It's not ability checks, but it's saving throws and attacks. Okay. Ah, oh, twelve. A twelve does not hit. Oof. Uh, then I'm gonna punch him. That's all I got left. Roll it. Roll that attack. Fifteen. Fifteen. Five damage. Does not hit. Roll your bless. Oh, my bless. <laughs> Four. Plus three. Eighteen. Does hit. Five damage. Five damage. Okay. <laughs> As creatures looking unsteady, to be sure. But it took the blow... Needs to be still up. Your it's your turn. Nice. So, how bad is the boy that's still being grappled? Look, not he looks fine. He's taking a couple hits, but he's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna change that real hard. Okay. Because <laughs> I still have uh, I still have smi I still have branding smite up, so I can still do this. So I'm just gonna Does it continue all attacks or the next attack? It's uh, let me check again. But it's usually just one attack. Next time you hit a creature with a weapon, okay, no, it's no before the spell ends, and it's concentration. It's concentration up to one minute. Right, but does it say the next attack or on each the next, attack? Next time you hit a creature with a weapon attack before the spell ends, the weapon gleams with astral radiance as you strike. Right. It, Which would mean to me that it lasts a minute or until you hit something. I mean, it specifically just says the next time you hit a creature with a weapon attack before it, so I mean, the spell ends, and I guess if it's up to one minute, so. I don't know. Uh, actually, no. Wait. Yeah, no, that's not out. That's out, anyways. But, what I am gonna do is. Mm, yeah. I'm just gonna smack it. I'm gonna smack it real good. Anyways, uh, so that's, that's off. And boom. You roll another nat 20. Okay. Hell yeah! Um, uh, yeah, that hits. <laughs> you want to just want to roll manual damage then? <laughs> yes. Okay. Because this thing does it weird. Yeah, and I don't know why. Oh. Okay, yeah. so it's that plus six. Yeah. So Eleven points of damage. Hmm. Okay, it's not looking as good as it was a moment ago. As the sickle just slashes into its back, and the creature just <laughs> tries to lurch forward, but the grasping fist is keeping it in place. Eek. That's good. And since I can, and uh, since it's a bonus action... Uh, actually, would that do anything? Uh, nah. Uh... Actually, no, I'm going to save that. For the okay. Last. Is that your turn? Yeah, that's an end of my turn. Okay, Kith, you're up. All of you are on deck. Does anybody hurt to any significance? Uh, Lusum's a little hurt. Ollie's a little hurt. Thormir's a little hurt. A little uh, Wander's a little hurt. Mori's a little hurt. Me. I'm, I'm fine. I'm only missing like three or four hit points. I'm about half. Okay, I will, uh, you know, same old story. You're gonna keep doing radiance. Well, I mean, does it seem like it's helping any? Maybe not. It's doing very small amounts of damage. Don't. Uh, you kind of hear. Uh, you kind of remember Treat shouting in your ear, 
uh, to get into advantageous position on a battlefield. I'll do that. Okay. You now grant Ollie flanking. Yep. And, and your Words of Radiance will hit both of those. Well, it was anyway. Oh, okay. It, it was anyway. But, um... If you I use whack inspiration, em. does that... What does that let me do? It lets me... Oh, I roll uh, with advantage? If you use inspiration, you re-roll. It's, so you can treat it like advantage if you like. Or you can roll and see if you hit, and if you don't, you can spend your inspiration to roll again. Oh, I can spend it after the fact. Yes, that's how, my, that's how I oh, roll inspiration. Oh, okay. I would have used it last round to see if I could get more damage on that check then. All right, good to know. All right, all right. I will do Word of Radiance again. Okay. And I'll go ahead and hit up that inspiration, if that's cool. If you want to spend inspiration to reroll the damage, you can. Sure, why not? Oh. Okay. All right. <laughs> hey, you doubled, doubled it. it. You doubled it. That's right. It. I doubled it. Okay. <laughs> they both fail the save, so they both Ooh. take two points of radiant damage. Yay. Okay. I'm gonna make Hold some on. notes that for actually, pick spells tomorrow. Uh, the f the one that you are granting flanking with an ollie, the second swordsman who's not standing up very well. How would you like to do <laughs> this? <laughs> I hit him with shiny light. Okay, so the creature, as the, the burst I don't know. of radiant energy climbs up the light, and you watch as whatever dark controlling necromancy is within that creature just be gone, foul dead thing. And the body just falls to the ground, inert. Yeah, it was all okay. I used that it, it was on one hit point. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I'm okay. getting so many assists today. <laughs> okay, so okay. all that's left are the bow boy and the one in the grip. I'm gonna run over to the bow boy. Okay. And I'm gonna smash him. Ollie right. smash. Ollie smash. Nope. That does not hit. Alright, I'll follow it up with uh, an arm strike. Jesus. All right, that. I'm going to spend a key point <laughs> and make that a flurry of blows and do two more. Okay. A crit. <laughs> okay. So, nine, and then, um, okay, what is this crit? So it's nine plus four, or? No, it. No. What I don't know what the fuck it does. It's. So it did nine, and then plus, okay, hang on, I'm looking at it. So I rolled a four and a five, so it's nine, but it's a crit, so it should be... It rolled max damage on a normal crit. It did it rolled oh, a it four should... plus should... five. Which right, is... it should do 1d4 plus five. But... Okay, so it if is. it's max... And you got a four. It's normal damage roll was nine, and then it rolled the 1d4 again, which okay. was a four. So, so it's this is the one time it did it right, Okay. but it was on accident because it rolled well. Okay, so 13. 13 points of damage. Okay. If you hold okay. your mouse over, it shows you what it did. Yeah, I'm looking at it now, and it does make sense. I just was confused. Okay, right. so that's 22 points of damage over those two attacks. He just comes over hit. and just, like, uh, misses, tries to kick it, and then just, like, fucking rabbit punches. One, two. Okay. Uh, the second punch seems to stagger it back, and it's almost, like, startled. It still has its bow drawn. Um... All right, I'm going to mark off that key point that I just spent. And that's my turn. Okay. All right. The bowman was... I deleted the wrong one. Oh, no, I didn't. But the bowman's on initiative eight, so it's now the bowman's turn. Despite it being mixed, mixed up on the counter. Awesome. Here, I'll just... God damn it. Why are you just roll 20 do this to me? Doesn't like you. We got to get you... Uh... Well, never mind. Okay. Uh, the bowman is going to... <sighs> okay, so what happens is... The bowman in recoil to your strikes, you watch as it's like leveling its bow at you, Ollie. 
And then you almost watch as a weird light sparks in its head on its eye sockets, and it turns its bow away from you, and it's going to take a shot at Mori. Huh? Uh, is talking a free action? Yes. Someone's controlling it. Uh, the what? it's a four. It's a fourteen to hit, Mori. Does that hit you? Yes. Okay. That's uh, five points of piercing damage. Oh, I need a concentration check from you. Roll a con save. Oh, freaking okay, the spell breaks. The stone grip finally washes off of the. God damn it! <laughs> wow. There we go. Hell. I mean, finally, just crumbles away from the white. Uh, and that's going to be this creature's turn as it's. You watch as it slowly draws a short sword, Ollie, mm -hmm. and kind of drops its bow. But that's its turn. I mean, not that that matters that the, the hand crumbled away, because it's surrounded on three sides. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of fucked. Wander, it's now your turn. Okay, so Wander has seen Mori take a few hits at this point. Yes. And she's all by herself. So instead of taking a shot at this guy, I'm going to move back to... Ah! Back to Mori and cast your wounds on her. Okay. Mori, you heal eight. Nice. Yank a couple of the arrows out of her shoulders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's my turn. <laughs> okay, Mori, it's now your turn. Uh... Lose some, you're on deck. Ollie, roll me a perception check. Okay. Alright, we'll address that in a minute. Okay. What's the range here? 35 yeah. feet? Yeah, I'm just gonna do chill touch. I feel like that'd be a pretty good choice. Um, plus 6. Does 16 hit? Uh, this one it does, yes. Okay. Um, it would not have hit the axe boy until his arm didn't work anymore. Haha. <laughs> Okay, so all of a sudden this grasping hand reaches out and clasps onto the chest of this creature and you watch as dark energy washes through it. Doesn't seem to do as much as you would have hoped, but you do see the creature is moving slower. Mm. Uh, anything else in your turn, Mori? I'm going to make, um, like, a circle this way. Maybe get some distance between the archer and okay. me in case it does pick up that bow again. Okay, so there you are. Boop. Okay. Uh, Lusum, it's your turn. Okay, I'm going to stab it with my rapier. No, I'm not. <laughs> you were rolling complete. You do have an advantage because yours giving you flanking. Yep. Right. No. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn. It. He's having the worst night. Everyone's okay. out yeah. here getting above like an Cor 18. Coria dr dangled me above the campsite. It's been fun. I don't. Uh, I think the only time I've rolled above a 12 was on initiative, and I got a 17. But that's been my only good roll. Having a bad night. It's how it goes sometimes. Thormir, it's your turn. Your vendor, you're on deck. E. Alrighty. I'm going to. How far away is that one zombie? Which one? Uh, I'm gonna get to the back side of him. Okay. You kind of crest over the hill, and now you're behind him. And I will swing away. All right. Roll attacks at advantage. 21. Yes, that hits. Uh, there's damage. Nice. 
I will okay. punch him in the back of the head. Okay. 25. Uh, that hits. damage. Hang on. Okay. Yeah, you hit soundly on both of those strikes. And you hear the, the loud as your fist collides with the back of its head. Uh, it's oddly light as it's kind of vacant of brains. Alrighty. And I will sit there and invoke uh, the advantage for uh, Ollie when it's okay. her turn. Uh, your, it's your turn. Kith, you're on deck. He was here a second ago. Your. Oh, I had my mic. I thought I had my mic muted before, and then I actually muted my mic, so I thought it was unmuted. Whoops. Oops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to smack him. And crit again. Uh, you know what? Given that we already <laughs> know the first number is a one, no matter what, just one plus five, so let's just call it 11 and call the day. Okay, 11 points of damage. God you are dang. stop stealing all of my good rolls. I don't fuck? know. I don't know what's happening. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, so he lashes forward again with the sickle and cleaving it almost down the middle. It's still up, but there are a lot of deep cuts on this creature, and it is shaking. This is holding itself together. Uh, oh, anything else on your turn, Yor? Uh, no, you know. Nah, I think I think I'm good. Okay, Kith, it's your turn. <laughs> Creature in front of you is barely standing. Uh, what about the other one? The one between Thormir and Ollie is not looking great. Um, all right, I'll hit that one with Sacred Flame. The one between Thormir and Ollie. Yeah. Okay, is that a deck save? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking. I roll the nat twenty. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. So this I'm just burst gonna walk over here fire. and put my head in and down in shame and Do you do that? I walk over there. Okay, it rolls it's going to attack you and attack. Oh, it can't attack me if I stay there? It's it's if you attack. leave its threat range it gets an attack of opportunity. Oh I thought it did anyway for casting, but heck, I'll stay there if it doesn't. Okay. Really, I don't I'm believe... not a threat. <laughs> <laughs> You've done some radiant damage to it, so it doesn't like you. Yeah, well. Cl clearly I'm not a threat. <laughs> not me. Little, okay. little old me. Just over here for um, shame. For shame. Okay, Beautiful. I'm going to start with my bonus action. Before you do, oh, okay. with that perception check, uh, off in the distance, you can almost hear every so often a muttered word coming uh, can from I you. Can I tell what direction it's from? It's hard to tell somewhere to your right. Okay. Um, I'm going to spend another key point to do Step of the Wind and then run off toward the right. Oh, okay. Uh, Ollie's, Ollie's about to bap a bitch. It's, uh, the creature tries to swing at you. Uh, well, no, I use Step of the Wind, so I disengage as a bonus action. Oh, okay. So you... Whoosh. She's like... No. All right. How far are you going? Um, well, what I'm trying to do is keep my eyes peeled for the, the person. So if that's, I, I guess I could do a search as a, as a, as a okay. perception. And you or know slash how far you're going. Okay. Exact distance number you're moving. There. <laughs> okay. I'm going to run to the edge of the vat. Uh, okay. Roll me a perception check. Well, everyone looks at Ollie like she's fucking nuts. I trust you know what you're 20. A dirty 20. Yeah, it's a dirty 20. It's, it's dark and it is raining. Despite yeah. that, on one of the nearby hills, you catch against the starlight a silhouette of a figure maybe 80 feet from you. 80 feet, okay. Mm. Was that my action to search? Yes. Okay, then that's my turn. Okay. Because I spent my bonus in my movement. Alright, so Thormir... 
Uh, you watch as the creature that you're fighting, all of it, you are pleased to have its attract its attention distracted by Ollie, and then Ollie suddenly just whips her head to the right and whoosh, dashes away. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it is going to turn at you, and it's going to attempt to stab you. And I need a con save as this fucking hit really hard. Oh no. That won't do it. Is Bless still up? I don't know. Uh, Did I break it by casting? No, you didn't. No. You have to take damage for it. Unless you, you casted another oh, then, yeah, concentration. Still be going. Okay, roll a d4 there. Throw here. You're going to need it. Hey! Yay. That saves. Okay. Uh, that's a good. This, it that's reaches good. forward with its off hand and like grasps you in the chest and you feel life begin to drain from you. Um, and you take 12 points of necrotic damage. Oh boy. But you resist, you resist the draining effect and you don't lose any max hit points. Okay, awesome. Uh, and then it's going to, as it's still grasping onto your chest, it's going to slash at you with its short sword. Going to parry. I roll the three. Okay, then I won't. So, you like raise your long sword to parry it, and the short sword like goes, whoosh, like <laughs> clear over your head. This creature is apparently uh, not having an easy time controlling itself. Uh, and then the sword boy by your end, these guys. Uh, Kith, it's going to turn and attempt to uh, stab at you. Uh, you need a con save. Constitution. Six. Six. Con save. Yes. That does not save. Kith. This creature lurches forward with a sword, glowing with black energy, and as it thrusts its sword into your arm, Ow. you feel necrotic energy wash through you, and it almost <gasps> feels like a, a disgusting, dark tingle as How it drains eight points you. of life from you. That's it. I'm pulling out the big guns. Your max hit points are reduced by eight, and I need a concentration check from you. I need another con save. DC's 10. Saving throw. Yes, con save. DC 10. Oh, oh the bless <laughs> ends. You are so startled by the sudden wash of necronic energy passing through you that you lose your place on the spell, and it just ends. Uh, and then it's going to... It, you watch as this creature suddenly looks like it feels a little better. It's shaking less. It's going to swing at you. Does a 16 hit? Uh, I have a 17. A 16 does not hit. Okay. Whew. So a sword bounces off your pauldron, almost cutting into you. Did I take damage from the sword actually hitting me, or is it just the drain? Just the drain. You took eight okay. points of damage. So your maximum hit points are reduced by eight. Yeah, they're down to 19. What about the three temporary hit points? It would go away from that first. Oh, okay. So it sucked those three? Yes. Right, so you're down to 22. Got it. Thank you. All right. My cooking uh, that is, is the, full. That is Yay. the end of the White's turn. Wander, we're back around to you. Maury, you're on deck. Hey, I'm going to take a shot at Bow Boy again. Okay. Uh, roll the attack. Nice. That hits. Cool. Hi, buddy. So all of a sudden, Thormir, as you're facing this creature, <laughs> an arrow sinks into its head. Another hey. one. And it's lurching forward. It's very unsteady on its feet. Lori, it's your turn. Unless you wanted to move first, Wander. I was going to, yeah, I was going to move, um, like here, because I was going to kind of move off towards the direction that Ollie ran off in. That's a good call. <laughs> all right. Now I'm good. Okay. Um, Maury, it's your turn. I'm going 
to do another chill touch on the same one. I'm doing All this right. Uh, roll that attack. And 18 hits. Okay, so it takes four points of damage, and you watch as its attacks begin to slow. Okay, and I'm going to, as a bonus action, cast Expeditious Retreat. And... Okay, you can suddenly move uh, your full movement uh, on your bonus action, including this turn. Which means I technically get 60 feet? Yes. Feet? Okay. And I would like to go... Okay. All right. Um, Lucim, it's now your turn. No. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you have advantage. Don't forget that. There you oh, go. Yay! Why don't you get a critical fail on the on the actual like attack itself and do one point of damage? Well, don't jinx yourself. Roll the stab. I've already said it. It's too late. Nine. Seven points of piercing damage. Uh, hey, I did a thing. First time this battle, I think. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> your dice have been terrible. Okay. Uh, do you have a bonus action uh, you want to do or anything? Do I have a what? No. No, I okay. don't. Alright. I'm not going to go any further, no. Okay. Thormir, your turn. Your Vander, you're on deck. Um I have ham. Well, my friend is still chicken. And he seems decently healthy. Except the one in the front body. of you? Yeah. Uh he's looking a little shaky. Alrighty. I don't think I have anything special, so I'm gonna go with the good old one two. Okay. Hey. That hits. And for the punchy punch. Oh, that hits. Oh no, that doesn't hit. Sorry. No. And roll damage. Boom! That's a damage. Okay, eleven points of damage. Uh, how do you want to do this? Ooh. Uh, I would like to lop his fucking head off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So bristling with arrows, you in a big, wide, horizontal slash, it tries to raise its sword, sword to parry you, but the pure momentum behind the swing just knocks the sword out of the way, and whoosh, the head, like almost like in a comical way, just pops up and then falls down onto the ground, and the body just crumples. And like samurai sword swing and get the blood off, and then. Uh, I'll use my movement to come a hither. So I'll use, okay. If I use my max movement, I'll get here. All right. Oh, I'll, I'll go there. I should probably move my token. Oops. Yes. My bad. I still had the uh, ruler out. There we go. All right, your it's your turn. Hith, you're on deck. Oh. Since the squad is currently reenacting the beloved meme, we're going to beat you to death, you're just going to <laughs> lop this boy's head off as quickly as he can, as in going over his neck and just yanking the sickle back through his neck. Okay, roll nice. the attack. Oh well. <laughs> it was a good attempt. Yeah. Can't can't Wait, have four net twenties in a row. You do have advantage from flanking. Oh yes. yeah, I do, don't I? I was about to ask if we still got that. Yeah. We're, we're literally surrounding him on all four sides, so oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That's Kith. just rude. We traded it, places. <laughs> Kith, it's your turn. Uh you have advantage <laughs> on attacks on this creature right in front of you. He's not looking good at all. You watch as your vendor attempt to loop the sickle around the creature's head, but the creature's still fighting back and got a sword up in between the sickle and its own neck. <laughs> Another a sacred flame. Okay, let's see if it saves. 
I rolled an 18. So, it saves. Okay, Ollie, it's now your turn. <laughs> okay, um, so, uh, it, it, it's 80 feet in what direction? Uh, w- like, pretty much straight uh, east of the fight right now. Okay, so... One, two, okay, so I will go 35 feet. That's my movement. Okay. Um, and so now I'm... 30, you're, you're 55, you're 45 away from it. Um, I will spend another key point to do Step of the Wind to use my bonus action to dash. Okay, you're 70 a... feet, now you're 10 feet away from it. So now that you're here, you it's like at the top of a hill, and it's a hooded figure uh, wearing kind of what looks like dark brown robes. It's it's too dark to really see any features, but you definitely hear some muttering. And as you're approaching, you've caught whatever this thing's attention is, but it appears to still be muttering for the moment. I'm going to uh, throw a dart in its face. I can okay. do that at range of 20 feet, so... Roll the attack. That is what I'm going to try to do. Well, that's not useful. Uh, that does not hit. Okay. <laughs> but I have uh, thrown a dart into the rain and the dark, and so yes. now I'm going to mark that I have nine darts left. Okay. <laughs> that's Perhaps my turn. tomorrow morning someone will be like, hey, look, a dart. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh it is now the uh, still alive white turn. <laughs> um then. the white is going to turn to you, Yor, as you attempted to lop its head off and it didn't like that. It's going to try and attack you. Mm. Okay. Uh does a seventeen hit. Uh that is over it. Yeah. I need a con save. Okay. 15. That saves. Mm-hmm. And okay. um, uh, hellish rebuke. Okay, you take seven points of damage, and then what's the save on hellish rebuke? Um, the deck save. Yeah. Dex, uh, save? Four, deck save of fourteen. All right, I roll a nine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, guess what happens since it's a first level spell and I have second level slots only. Well, how uh, sixteen, and I'm just gonna roll that second uh, d10, that last d10, because it's fucky like that. I don't know why. Oh, that's twenty six fire. Okay, how would you like to do this? Um, basically. As soon as it goes, is it going out to touch me? Basically, to, uh, to... it yes, it's raising a long sword out to slash at you, but it's like slowly raising it because of the grasping touch. Hmm. Yeah. As soon as it does, I basically just I take the curved end and I basically just smack it upside the head, and as it hits, it doesn't do any physical damage, but just a pulse of burning light just flashes over its face essentially okay. so uh your reaches out and with a <laughs> the flames just wash over this creature and immediately its face is turned from this kind of scowling gaunt undead face to a scorched skeleton of one and blackened carbon scored bone just falls to the ground and the creature <laughs> is dead uh the the figure in front of you ollie uh suddenly stops muttering and its attention is turned to you. Mm-hmm. I need a con save. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, maybe not. Hang on. Let me make sure I have the right spell here. No, it's a wisdom save. Okay, that's better. Oh. Yes, it is. Okay. You kind of feel this grasping freezing feeling going through your head and you just shrug it off and you hear a hmm 
Uh, and then you watch as a kind of field kind of appears around the, the guy and you watch as rain suddenly does not seem to land on him anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wander, it's now your turn. I'm gonna keep moving towards Ollie. Okay, so you move your full 30? Yep, one, two, three, okay. four, five, six. So, hold on. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <coughs> Ollie's over here. Yeah, sorry, I'd sort of run off into the night like, uh... <laughs> Yeet. At least I got chicken. At least I got a bucket of chicken. Yeah. I don't actually have chicken, I was just... I have ham, so that counts. I guess it works. <laughs> Okay, and then I'll just draw a quick little thing with this guy who's 10 feet away. All right. That's what it looks like now. <laughs> Vaguely. All right. Wander, you've, you're moving toward Ollie. You move 30 feet. Yeah. You're going to move some more. Um, can I see what she's looking at? You can't. You can see Ollie very yeah. out on the just brink of your dark vision. All right, so yeah, and I'll use. You my watch action. as he hurls a dart at something. I'll use my action to continue moving towards them. Can you move another thirty? Yep. Okay. Now you can see a hooded figure over the top of the hill, kind of silhouetted against the the starlight. You can't see much about it, but you see Ollie on the haste approaching it. Okay. Cool. I need to roll a real initiative for this guy now. <laughs> okay. That was better than I thought it would be. <laughs> okay. Well, I can't seem to give it a instance. Hang on. All right, I'll just gonna use this placeholder one. Where the fuck did that go? Roll twenty. Take a chill pill. Okay, I'm having a hard time here. There. Add turn. Finish. Sixteen. Descending. All right. Wander. You see that. Mori. Cool. Wander and Ollie just took the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you do have Expeditious Retreat up. Uh, you do not see them because you do not have dark vision. Mori. Mori. Trying to do this. Okay. Yes. Um, I'm going to be also following along with my exposition retreat. 16 feet. Okay. okay. All right. So you whoop right here, and now you can see Ollie vaguely in the distance ahead of you. Um, that's can what you I, see. Can I like um, use Koya's vision for like a couple of seconds and then flash back out of it, or? Uh, you, uh, yeah, you can spend your action to look in. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, uh, you kind of peek into Koya's eyes and clear as day, you see a hooded figure in dark leather, like brown robes, atop of this hill, the perch, and you see Ollie has thrown a dart at the guy. And you see, uh, rain is not falling on this guy. Hmm. All right. Well, that's my action, bonus action. So. Okay. Uh, next is Lusum. It's your turn. 
I'm gonna run after him because I saw other people run and I'm like, where the hell are you guys going? There's still a camp here. What's your move speed? <laughs> 30. Okay. So you would get you <laughs> you're here. All right, I'm just I didn't know they like sprinted, so I guess I'm just going to stay there. Okay. Keep running. Well, you don't have an action or bonus action to do right now, so Yeah. You could just keep running. Yeah, I guess I'll like I don't know how far ahead they are, is the thing. They You're could right. be just like just in front of me, but it's dark. So I, I there's it's not there's not really enough justification to sprint my thing. Okay. So you are you holding an action or something? No, I'm just not gonna dash. Okay. Uh it is now this figure's turn. Uh Ollie, you watch as its head kind of turns to see uh, everyone looking at it. <laughs> and you see it cast a spell. And then suddenly it begins to lift off the ground and it starts to fly away. It is taking off. It flies away pretty darn fast. Uh, in no time at all, it is outside of your view range. Because it is still dark and raining. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I didn't have anything to react against that with. No, yeah, I don't... I... Okay. That at is... higher levels, I would have had a reaction to do something about that, but I... Oh, yeah, I could do, the... like, reaction, like, counterspell or something. Yeah, else. but we're we're lower level, so it's fine. Yeah. Think. Frankly, I don't think we're high enough level to take something that could do that. Um, Ollie's just stupid, so... <laughs> is combat done? Combat is done. We are out of initiative. All we right. can take a 10-minute bio if we'd like. I run ahead. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, what? Oh, I was just gonna do something real quick as combat ends. Sure, go ahead. Go ahead. So I would have run over there and been like, what is it? Necromancer flying away. What? Yeah, it was controlling those things. Which way? Ollie points up. <laughs> <laughs> which, but which way? I don't know. It's fucking dark. Damn it. Where did Calivor? I pray. You're 80 feet away. You can't be Roll a... which way did it go? Roll a wisdom check. Wisdom check? Yep. Wisdom check. Yes. No. With the high adrenaline and you're completely lack, you're not calm at all. You can't get a My message drained clear. Energy and the, I'm so frustrated. But it has a little Ugh. temper tantrum. Oh, is is it just like is it just like a toddler who hasn't got their sippy cup and they're just stomping? That's what I'm imagining. Kind of. <laughs> I mean, she's the size of a toddler, so it kind of looks that way. Uh, a toddler in full half plate wielding a, uh, a, a mace. <laughs> mace yeah. yes. Ollie walks back towards the others uh, so bio break then yep Good we're going snaps. to take a bio break bio break okay. uh, right back. Right back. echo Why are you like this computer?
Hello. Do, 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 do. And I feel much better. Is Yay. That the, the Yoshi story theme. It was, yeah. Yes. I don't. I I, I don't. I don't have an explanation. Explanation. So uh, I loved that game. It was the best. It was so cute. I replayed I, it recently. I, it. I beat that whole game in one sitting. <laughs> well, it is playing. super easy. It's not that yet. Yeah, well, how is everyone doing? I'm all right. And the Yoshi's you? were happy. Uh, I mean, I'm doing pretty good. Those uh. Yeah, let's talk I'm about back. those bad rolls, man. Did I get over it? Wait, 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 bad rolls? What do you mean? I got three nat twenties in a row. <laughs> That's me with the bad rolls, thank you. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty average. I didn't exactly have great rolls either. I feel ya, man. I feel ya. Yeah, don't worry. Now you know how I feel sometimes in combat. It's just like, I, I either we've get all really... been there. Yeah, you just, you just get either a bad roll on your, um, uh, the thing that makes you... Hi, Lammy! Little... Yeah. That you wanna works. come say hi to these people? No. He's looking, <laughs> he's looking at me like I'm crazy. Yoda wants to come say hi, though. You're asking if he wants to say hi to people like us. <laughs> My kid yeah. came to say hi like eight times, but if I you guys were it. here, he would be so excited. He would be like, "This is the greatest thing that has ever happened. There are people here, and I have not met them yet." I love dogs. He loves people. Um, dogs are okay. The others might not be as excited, <laughs> but this one oh would be god, like, "Oh my god, this is the best thing in the world." Mm -hmm. Yeah, I no, have no, a picture of my funniest dog on my phone that I keep for motivation. Aww. Are you in a place where you cannot dog yourself? Yeah, I I'm living with a roommate, so it kind of... Yeah. But think, you don't have to pay for food or shots, you don't have to clean up dog hair, you don't have to worry about fleas, you don't have to Bad clean expenses. up dog crap, which is a big one for me, dog baths. You know, just dogs puking, dogs eating their own poop, dogs rolling in their own poop. I'm just saying. Funny I've thing is, I've had a cat do all of those things. Yeah, cats aren't any better. <laughs> They're just also assholes at the same time. Yep. Yeah. Some hey. cats are assholes, and, and some they poop cats inside are sweetheart, instead of outside. All of them are chaotic gremlins. My cat is too lazy <laughs> to be an asshole. <laughs> That dog is adorable. I love that dog. I think my best role tonight was crocheting that hat for the horse. I'm just gonna put something <laughs> in Amareth discussion for anyone who wants to look at that. Oh dear. So I went ice Cause... skating a day and a half ago. And it fucking hurts to move now. Oh yeah. Like, like it hurts my arms and my legs. My arms because I ate the floor a couple times. Mm. By the way, this is in a different D and D server, but that's what I posted. I wonder if I can stream nice. and work on my zoo at the same time. That's where I'm at. But I've got I've got a bike to work later tonight. Ooh, fun. Eek. And... And I am not looking forward to it because I'm fucking sore as all hell. Take some Motrin, stretch out, drink some water. I, You'll be fine. I don't have any Motrin. Ibuprofen? No. That is Motrin. True. There you are. <laughs> I don't know. Chug a bottle of NyQuil and see what happens. Ooh, I don't no, have that don't either. do that. And, and no, not NyQuil. I'll take Dayquil. I did that when I was sick. Oh my lord. I was... does not agree with me. Yeah, I, I tried. I feel like chug, I could but... imagine the like breathing sounds that this dog makes. <laughs> Just looking at it. <laughs> that dog is amazing. Full bred Shiba Inu. I was talking about Kiwi's dog. <laughs> oh, my bad. Oh my god. I mean, your dog, that dog is very cute also. I was just looking at this face like, oh my god. Oh my god. Like, like a wheezy, like, 
I don't know, Peter Laurie the dog sort of sound. Oh. <laughs> I have a I have a little red Queensland oh. and the last owner like cut their tail too short, but it's the oh. cutest thing because when they try to wag, it's basically they're just shaking their butt violently yeah. whenever they're mm-hmm. excited, and it's the best yeah. thing. Yeah, <laughs> we Aussie. have we have we have Boston's, no, um, and so they they just have dog. little snub tails. That's and Lamb Chop is the older one, and Joe used to call him, or Echo used to call him butt first because he would get excited and try to wag his tail and end up moving in like this weird crescent where his butt was like forward. That's what our mm-hmm. Aussie did. Looks so dumb. <laughs> yeah, all, all my dogs have been like long tail dogs, like Shelties, Collies, Labs, and a Kubas. <laughs> If you ever want to drop Lanny? some money on a dog, get a Kuvas. <gasps> Kiwi, Wander, why is your... your dog is so pretty. Kiwi, That's why does your dog just is express the full range of emotions? Um, he okay. Don't... My dog is half Lhasa Apso, half Labrador. Huh? Is... No, you think That's like all emotions? I have an emotion. Looks like a golden tab. I just have like fix fifty pictures of him do expressing different emotions. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Aww. Your dog is an Oscar award winning actor. <laughs> Can the dog be an NPC, please? <laughs> oh god. No, we, we need a group mascot concerned. and it has to be that dog. Deeper concern. Nah. Alarm. So, uh, is everyone back? Yes. Yes. Uh, everyone uh, physically good to go? or mentally? Everyone good to go? Yes. There's a lot of dogs happening, sorry. It's okay. All right. I found my weakness. You guys have finished the random whites. Yes, and, and I know what I'm going to do next. Mysterious arrival. Uh, what is that? I'm going to run over to Mori and be like, "Quick, where's Corey? Can she follow the necromancer?" Right. I will attempt to send Corey in the direction that I think that it went because I only saw it for a split second through her eyes. But okay. she saw it the whole time, so maybe she Echo, how know. late is it so, right now? How late is it? Yeah, how far uh, into This the... happened towards the end of the second watch. Okay. Uh, so it's like one in the morning. So there's not enough time to get an actual full rest. No, this was during third watch, because Kith and I were on watch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right, that's right. So it's actually like so four in the morning. Watch. In order to complete a full rest, we're going to have to go back to bed, basically. That was just yeah. the question I had. You will definitely have to go back to sleep if you want to finish your long rest. Um, but you can ask Coria to track where this guy went. Yes, please. Yes, I, yeah. Okay. Do you watch through Coria's eyes? I shall. Okay. So Coria takes off and following where this guy blew off from. And she can see him. She can see pretty well. Uh, the rain is making it a little hard to keep up. I'd like you to roll me a stealth check for Coria. What's your stealth? Uh, it's going to be plus one. Right. Can't go invisible, what? Oh, wait, no, she bams out, right? Mm-hmm. She can go invisible, but she spent it already. Right, okay. Uh, Where the frick is my tab for... There it is. Nine. As Coria flies up behind the Necromancer, and she is flying faster than the Necromancer can. The Necromancer appears to be a Romeo survival check Morrigan, based on what you see. Morgan. Okay, jeez. That sounds scary. Um... Twenty. Yes! Uh, you know... The necromancer is kind of flying north northeast. That's what you get, um, based on the stars and the horizon that you can see, um, despite the rain and the dark. Coria mm-hmm. flies up toward the necromancer, and she's following him. In right when Coria gets to about a hundred feet away from you, she's maybe thirty feet away from the necromancer. The necromancer turns around. And you watch in Coria's eyes as the necromancer begins to cast a spell. I'm going uh, to pull her. Can I pull her out or no? 
roll me an initiative. Oh, yikes. Okay. Please don't let Coria die. <laughs> okay. As you begin to mutter the words to poof Coria back to you, you watch as a firebolt goes flashing toward Coria. And you, your vision is suddenly cut off. Oh, God. I regain vision in my own body and... Yep. Your senses are returned to you. It's you know that if... You know that if you want Coria back, you're going to have to cast Find Familiar again. Yeah. It's gonna be a ritual. Give me a while. As I set up to do the ritual, I will say... Coria spotted the Necromancer going north. If we are to catch up with him, we need to hurry. Let's go, guys! Wait, don't we have the, the transcript papers with us still? Yes. We can uh, report it, and I would suggest that our... Oh, that's... that's we need to do that tonight. now. What are we doing? Yes. If you cast this ritual right now, you are not going to be able to finish your long rest. Yeah, that's for frick. Let's go, guys! Do we have, no, yes, we, we do need, you have we the mats for Find Familiar? And we need to report anything beforehand. We yeah. need to what do, do we need job. to report? The Necromancer. No, we need to go get the Necromancer. Ollie, let's go. If we, if okay. we die fighting Kiss the Necromancer, Mia. they won't know there's a Necromancer. Kiss Mia. That's why there's. That's why we have the Wander? paper to tell Purse, right? Yes. Yeah, the, tell the paper. Yes. Okay, we just defeated its things. Yours, he's yours running going to away. Take out, yours is going to take out a roll of paper, and he's going to hand it to Kithmia. Report it to Push Persh, and if we find him on the way, then we'll deal with him. But he is not the main job. Oh my god. Can we just go? It's Happy. not worth it. Look, we... He's, he's currently flying. flying. He's so he has a much away. faster speed than what we do. Said, what do you think he's gonna do now that we've destroyed his undead? Think about it. He What's he gonna do? He probably more. Sorcerers are crafty. We'll raise more. But we are yes. not in a position- We can't- Kiss me, we can't fly! He's we know which way he went! That and doesn't mean we can't fly, him. we're not in a position to fight him. We're not strong enough. And honestly, if we go at it alone, we are going to die. Oh my gosh, you're just Better scared. Let headquarters know he's so going, that other people know. Yours just going to look right at Kithmi and he's going to tell her, Deadpan, we don't know if we'll find him. So we have a better chance of getting through whatever hell that particular necromancer might be setting up if, as long as we stay on mission and don't rush off. And I'm going to roll persuasion. On that. Only well. against a player, that's a first. 17. Uh, Kith, Procisi, you can decide how you want to react to that, but normally I don't have persuasion or deception checks have any real merit to a player. Yeah, they're for NPCs. Look, Kith, I want to hit him in the head with my stick as much as you do. But we can't fly. Yeah, uh, but he, we know which way he went. Miles away. But here's the thing. We know a if general he, direction. We know he's flying one direction. Maybe he's going another after he finds a landmark. We don't know which way he's going. We he might just be fleeing is. that direction. And he just... Yeah. Okay, we're just going to be known as the team that runs away from everything. Got it. She'll no, storm off we're going to be tent. known... Is the team that can't known... keep up with the thing that's running away from us. Yeah. She's just being irrational. She's going to go in her tent. And... Normir's just going to finish his watch. Okay. I, I assume Kithmia didn't do anything with the... didn't write a report or anything, so... No! Yours just going to hand the paper to Lusum and then just... I didn't see him. I didn't. I don't know any descriptions or anything. Tell him what know... we fought. Robed right. figure in a bubble. Uh, okay. I'm gonna- I'm gonna type out what I send on the message. Okay. Yours just gonna go back into his, uh, sleeping bag and then go to sleep. Don't worry about it, guys. She's just being a butt because she hates zombies. I'm going to sleep. Okay. Is everyone trying to go back to sleep except Thormir? I'm- I am- I'm, uh, 
I'm writing the report, then I'm going back to sleep. Okay. After they'll go to bed, I'll go back and keep watch, but she's in a really bad mood. Okay. I'm just going to keep clutching that holy symbol. Uh... Omar, protect us. Yep. I mean, <laughs> did a pretty good job last time. Let's hope he does it this time. <laughs> Roll that perception. Can I okay. do... Does restoration help with... um? With the life drain or whatever? Uh, how nope. do you want us to do this? You would need a greater restoration for that. Just perception. Well, I'm asking because... Of course, I would be out there first, and then Kith would be joining me. Kith would roll for herself okay. when she comes out. <laughs> so, Echo? I have the... Oh, yes? Um, if we do this long rest right now, uh, will we be able to hit the long rest button and get if, our... Um... Okay. If you, you guys go to sleep right now, and you wake up in the morning, you'll be able to hit the long rest button, okay. which will cleanse the life the drain. The life drain. Yeah. Awesome. Got it. Okay. So... Just to recap, there were four undead. Uh, the necromancer was wearing robes, and it flew away faster than we could catch up. Yes, that's it, basically. Give him a general direction of where he was heading from where we were. Roll me a religion check with advantage, there, Lucen. All right. If I remember correctly, it was heading north. Yes. With advantage. Yes. Ooh. Oh, that's a skill I have a negative one in. Cool. <laughs> You really specked out for your blood hunter, oddly. Um, yeah. Uh, so, you know, with a 17, those undeads were whites. And you know that whites are the sorts of undead that you craft intentionally and for a purpose. They're not just a raised body. W-I-G-H-T-S? They're more like puppets. And yeah, it's W-I-G-H-T-S. I'll go the barrow downs. Okay. It basically grunts that you're supposed to have go and do something, fight, okay. manual Be labor. Before I send this off, this is what I have. Is there anything else I need to add? I ask a. I guess I ask Thoromir before I leave. Tell the location we're currently at, because North oh. doesn't. Yeah, that helps. Uh, where, I, what, where are we? I don't know the name. What? Where what? are we? You're at the foothills of the Golden Cascades. In between what? Roll me a history check. Sorry, I'm, I'm typing. We're a day out from that second ferry stop. Yep. Uh, history... Wait, sorry. I a four. It would be no. the four. You don't know what this area is called. Can he ask someone else? He could. Hey, Thormir, or Kithmia. What? What, what are we in between? We are, we're in between the boathouse and what? Roll me history checks, both of you. The Golden hey. Cascades, the Rhine, I think is what it was called. History check, please. I was looking for it. A, a 10 and a 9. Uh, you don't know the specific name of this foothills area, but you know that you're near the Rhinewood. You know that you're near the Golden Cascades. I don't think there's even any point in sending the message. He's long gone now. The point of the message is to let uh, Marigard know that there's a fucking necromancer because they're a lot stronger than we are. We're not taking down a necromancer single-handedly. As powerful as we are, we are no match for a fucking army of undead. Look, I understand you have a vendetta against the undead, and that's completely understandable. Yeah. But we're not prepared, nor do we have the means to pursue this necromancer. Yeah. We may win in a fight, we may lose. That's up to chance itself. But 
at the moment, the cons are outweighing the pros of chasing after him. We have a right to do. We have a mission that needs to be completed, or else we get punished for it. That's on us. Which, I understand that doesn't seem like much compared to the greater good. But it's what we gotta work with. Sure. I got it. Hopefully next time we see him, I get to shove my sword between his ribs. I totally okay. get it. We're gonna let a necromancer go, where he's probably gonna kill more people and enslave them with undead powers, so we can go help a guy explore some ruins. Totally well, makes sense. Well, if we, if we let Marigard know soon enough, they can mobilize um, a unit and stop him before he gets out of control. Mm-hmm. They probably have people who are specialized in that. And especially if you let your, your god know... Oh, sorry, out of character? I forget what his name is. What's his Kel name? Kelimvor. If you let Kelimvor know what's happening, he'll be able to spread the message among the other gods and be like, hey, shit's fucked, yo. Or perhaps it's other followers who are... Yeah. Is that how religion area. works? No one knows. Well, I mean, the, the messenger tells the god something, and then the god tells the other messengers. Uh, okay. okay. Say so. I, Just the clear I, here. What do I know? I mean, that's how I assume it works. Anyways, so this is what I've got so far that probably can't fit much more on the page. How big is the page? Okay. It's a pretty... It's a good-sized sheet. It's a full sheet of parchment. It's... It depends on how big you write, I guess. <laughs> Sorry about that. Lost internet for a bit there. I'm back now. I think. Okay. Unless I'm a Welcome robot. Back. No, you're here. You're good. Okay, okay, so you send that letter. Yes. To Persh. Yes. Um, alright. You don't receive one back right away. I mean, I assume you sleep. Probably. <laughs> uh, okay, so do you guys... You continue your watch, Thormir and Kith... A uh, 22 in that perception there, Stormir. Um, mm -hmm. After the in, the excitement of that battle and the smell of the whites now kind of permeating the area, even though the rain is falling, it's not quite able to wash it all away. Uh, it's a little unpleasant. But can you I do guys... my ritual stuff for the undead? Free their yes, souls you can. and all that. Okay. Yes, I'll do that. Which might calm her down a little bit. Sure. You, you you put these souls to rest as best you can. It feels a little hollow, and you don't get that same kind of satisfaction you'd normally get because of that bitter feeling going on, but you do feel better for doing it, if even just going through the motions. Yeah. Oh! Sorry, that's gonna make... I didn't mean no. to say that out loud. That's okay. So, as you guys... Continue your watch. Uh, the rest of your period of time ends without incident. Uh, so who's fourth watch? Is that Mori? <laughs> yeah. I'm last watch, yes. Um, while I'm doing the watch, can I spend the hour or two to do you find familiar? Do you happen to have the herbs... In parchment, did you pay spend the gold to get that stuff? Not technically, no. I have I the might money. Have parchment. But... No, I um, don't think I would be losing Koya during this trip. That's okay. understandable. Then I'm afraid you cannot. I understand. I've got a block of incense. Will that help? It's got to be a lot of incense. <laughs> I use it for for my ritual. <laughs> uh, is it? A lot of gold worth of incense? Uh, Ten gold, gold's worth of charcoal incense and herbs that must be consumed by fire in a brass brazier. I don't know. I bought two of them. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It doesn't have details on the weight or the cost. We uh, it's, might have to get to a... You, we're going to have to go to a supply and get you yeah. some Yeah, it's incense. probably not good enough. Yeah. I just happened to have that in my bag, so I thought, you know. I, yeah, it's worth mentioning, but 
Yeah. It wasn't a retro scrounge, I swear it was in there. I picked up stuff I thought she might use in rituals like this. Now, <laughs> this could be an instance where if you had an inspiration token, you could spend that to say you would have. Is that an actual term, retro scrounge? Yeah, I guess so. Huh? <laughs> uh, I, I what, just wonder. What was that last part about what? I said if there if an inspiration token was spent, then we could say that Mori did think. No, I already blew my inspiration. So. Uh, right. I can use mine on her. I'd totally but hook to you up if I had one. I would do that. Okay, Mori, so you spend you before you left Thormir Thormir spend retro scratches. So you spend the gold to get the incense and herbs you need to do the ritual. Okay. So you can during this watch perform the ritual. The ten gold of my inventory. Okay. And yes, I will spend my watch. With the alarm still up, I'm pretty sure. Unless eight hours have gone by since our start of our camp. The alarm would end pretty much like in the middle of your watch. Alright. Um I will still attempt to do the ritual. Okay. Roll me a intelligence check. Oh god. Seven. Okay. Oh no. Uh so you kinda sit down and you cast the spell. Um As you're casting the ritual after the first hour of beginning, you hear a voice in your head that says Fire hurts. I'm sure oh. it does. Fire hurts so... a lot. That was unpleasant. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm... Well? A little annoyed, to be honest. I tried to dodge it. That asshole was a better shot than I am fast. I want to bite his head. You may get the opportunity soon. The spell... Um, you get the impression Coria doesn't quite want to come back yet. You can insist if you want. I'll let her rest for now. Okay. But you do cast Find Familiar. I'd also like a perception check from you. Alright. Twelve. Okay, it is early morning, and as the suns are rising, you watch as a lot of the rainwater is burned away by the early rays of the morning. And your party is sleeping, uh, some of them more restfully than others. Occasionally you hear a muttered swear word in Kith's sleep. Um, <laughs> Sounds about right. That checks out. I don't <laughs> Am I going to get spells back? It's okay if I don't. I just want to know because I'll change them if I can. Uh, you will get your spells back. And I can change those, or no? You can change them every long rest as a cleric. Okay. Alright, just making sure. As your watch passes and you cast your ritual, uh, a lot of flies seem to come out of nowhere to attack the corpses of the whites, but other than that, your morning watch goes without incident, and you guys can all hit the long rest button. Yay! My double barrel shotgun of second level spells is re is, is is reloaded. I burned all of my key points, so this is. Uh... <laughs> I'm surprised that I get, didn't get like the shit beat out of me. <laughs> Cause I don't know. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared now that everything's just going to kill me. I don't have any good spells to like. Attack on dead with. Because you can't I mean, cure them anymore. Nope, that is not a uh, 5e rule. not a thing anymore, yeah. I'm... I could do continual flame. I mean, you could just use the sort of damaging spells you'd use on anybody. Yeah. I yeah, mean, there's, there's also many. turn on dead. Which I believe you already have. I think there's a few. Yeah, but I only ones. get one, so I was saving it in case of emergency. True. I 
could do spiritual weapon. Spiritual weapon's a good one. I have to drop another one. Now, Echo, I have a question. Sure. Through all of the uh, the ramblings of Kithmia, would Thormir have an idea of what uh, her god is supposed to look like? What Kelimvor looks like? Yeah. Uh, you know, the symbol of Kelimvor is like a bone, a skeletal hand grasping scales. Yeah, I wear one. Uh, you don't know what Kelimvor himself looks like. But then to be fair, neither does Kith. Okay. Then I was going to, like, while we're all doing our morning stuff and eating, I was going to carve a, a symbol of Kelimvor. Okay. Roll me a crafting check, as we typically do. I believe that's plus five. Oh. Yes. Aw. Oh. You start to, you start to cra carve it, but getting the fine detail of the, the bones of the wrist is really hard, and you get frustrated. Then I will throw that in the fire, and then maybe try again another time. Yeah, perhaps after a less frustrating night, it'll be easier. Possibly. Uh, so, the way we're going to do this voyage, because it is a long journey to Sunken Forge. Um, in your, uh, in your note there, your, in your file, you know that near mm -hmm. the Cane Delta is the town of Shon. Okay. And we the town of Shon. And you, we'll it's not for a while. Up. Okay. But, you know that in the town of Shona is where you're meant to meet Austel. Uh, you know that it says Austel has a couple with him that he has hired himself. Okay. Um, you know that in the town of Shona is kind of a... It's a small town. It's like a little nook. Uh, but it's big enough that it's kind of a trading post. Um... You also know that you are a couple weeks away from the town of Shona. So couple weeks away. This is gonna be fun. The way we're going to break up travel is as some skill challenges. Nice. Uh, we are going to do skill challenges until we get three successes or three failures. And every three failures, we're going to have an encounter. Okay. Okay. Cool. That makes sense? Yep. Yes. Okay. So. Oh, Owie. <laughs> Do you guys understand how skill challenges work? No. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think I missed some of what you said due to dinner drama happening around me, but um, I think I can catch up. I totally know what it is, but for the people who don't know, why don't you say it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the way skill challenges work is I will pro pro to I will submit a problem and then I want you guys to come up with a solution. Now it can be an ability you have, it can be a spell, it can be a skill. Uh and then whatever that is, we will resolve it by rolling and if the roll is successful, the spell or whatever it is, if it works, that skill challenge is a success. If it fails, there are consequences to that, or the skill challenge fails. So, let me present an example, just to see if I'm understanding. Um, say we need to move a boulder, and we have Thormir pick up the boulder, and you make him roll a strength check, and he succeeds, and that would count as a success. Yes. Okay. Cool. Simple enough. Uh, so... Did we ever get a reply from Persh, by the way? Oh, sorry. Uh, you would have gotten a reply from Persh early in the morning. Uh, you would have woken up and it would have been there waiting for you. Uh, it would simply have said, Noted. We'll keep right. in touch. Uh, please be specific as to location when you have the opportunity. Okay. Um, as soon as I get that, then I'm going to since i have keen sense and i know where we're going i'm just going to say we'd be we'd be about a days out from a day or two out from that trading post correct oh hang on Sorry. what was it 
what the purse said in the reply? My husband was talking to me. Noted, uh, be more specific with, uh, oh, okay. location when location when you can. Oh, motherfucker, I've been muted for like 20 minutes. <laughs> I, I suggested that we we Did talk you? about purse like four times. Fuck. <laughs> I know that's and I looked down at your message and that's why I said it because I didn't know if you were talking or not. And I was like, no, I don't know what skill checks are. Why why are you go wait no? Motherfucker. Oh yeah, uh, I'm a I'm also, a mess today. Also, today, okay. Kith is a hot mess for like the next week. Good luck, guys. She is wow. really pissed. Eek. Need a hug. And <laughs> also some and also some hard liquor. I like how in the picture there's these like these really really nice trees and then there's just a corpse. And there's a stick man who's died. <laughs> and an upside down flower, don't God forget that. Abraham. I the wrong button. Echo. Okay, echo, not... echo, echo. Okay, he is he is definitely not back yet. I wish my drawing tablet were. Okay, so... Hi. Um, by the way, Balti was uh, muted for like and like 20 minutes. 20 minutes and has no idea what a skill check challenge is. Oh, so, I, know, uh, I know what it is now because you guys explained it, but I didn't. And I was like, wait, wait, don't, don't go on. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I was like panicking. I mean, oh. it's what we did to so, escape Siren's Reach. Yeah, and I did note the location in my report. It was... About a day's journey north from the boathouse, from the second boathouse. Roll me a history check there, Mr. Yor. I will do that, yes. Do, 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 do. History. Uh, wait, what is the history for exactly? Cause... This area. Oh, okay. Uh, 23. A 23. Uh, you know that this spot near the River Rhyme in the Rhymewood is called Cascades Landing. Okay. Resp well, respond back. We are we are at the area known as Cascades Landing, which would be about a day off from the second to last ferry and possibly two to three days from the next trading post. Okay. Um, so, the journey up to Shona is, like, three weeks. Mm. Um, that being said, before we begin that trek, we actually need to call it for tonight, because I have to mm. dinner and go pick up Jesse and a bunch of other things. So, this is where we are going to have to wrap tonight. Alrighty, this is fun. This is really, really fun. fun, despite my really god-awful rolls. <laughs> Yeah. You guys did not solve my necromancer puzzle. And you did I'm not excited. solve your necromancer puzzle, so we're Kip stopping. Is very angry. That's is it. Okay. <laughs> Wait, there was a puzzle? I thought we were supposed to bash him until he stops. The puzzle. That's the puzzle. <laughs> the that puzzle. could be a puzzle. <laughs> Just like In case Griffin's it wasn't clear. Here's the puzzle. Break down the door. <laughs> Kith is so mad. 
Oh, it's like the knocking door all over again. Oh no! Um, How rude! <laughs> What's the knocking door? The uh, knock door is my favorite trap. So, that was amazing. The knock what? door works like this. It has to open inward, and it's not locked, and it doesn't appear to be trapped. If you try to open it, a magical fist flies out and punches you back ten feet, and then you fall in a pit or whatever trap is there. Didn't I get hit by that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. 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 So did, uh... Almost uh, all of you got hit by it. So I <laughs> managed to not to. Well, I did something. Oh. I can't remember what I did, but it said that I was. You rude. tried to hit it with your. If hand. you Here's no, if you bit. try, if you try, if you keep trying to open it without doing anything else, or if you do it a certain number of times, the door says, "How rude!" And the clue is, you have to knock. Yeah. If you knock on the door, it opens out toward you, and you can go in. Okay. I was proud of that moment, but I was so angry at that fucking Here's door. what happened with my experience at the door, because this is a pretty hilarious now that I remember it, so thank you. Um, you guys had been attacked by a dragon and teleported to another area. I was alone, away from the party, and I come back and I'm in this, like, and transported to this mansion. I had knocked out a guy, almost killed him, who turns out later to be a really helpful person, but that's not important. And Is it? I for the moment, no. For the moment, okay. no. Um, and I go up to the door, and I freaking try and open it, I get freaking punched and almost fall into a trap. And I'm like, alright, you know what? I'm not gonna mess with that. And I freaking break through the door, the window right next to it and keep going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's... Cause that's how Nox works. Nox. I mean, Nox don't take Omar shit works no by doors. getting swallowed by purple worms and cutting it out from the inside. <laughs> That is a thing Omar did. Yeah, I'm still that was that was right before you guys got god moded. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And it was a game of There you go. Have a good one. Yep. All good right. GG guys. That was fun. Bye guys. Stay safe. Yes. See ya. Give it.